My mind floats the wind, count the ten, beat the twin, under Ben, welcome to the lion skin. Original men, many men comprehend. I extend myself I so you on. go out and tell a friend. I see what's going on. We next. Bad speakers. Bad speakers. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's Andre 3000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, yeah. I know, that ain't I know, me. That ain't me. That ain't me. I got him. Nigga said I couldn't spit. So I spit in his face. Put the four fifth in the face. Hey. Hey. Nigga quit playing with me. Like, I'm going to come in there. Skip, 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 Facebook, Instagram, Spotify. Oh, and you know, uh, we still represent Revolt on the audio side. If you want to catch us early, if you're at your job in the warehouse, hot as motherfucking hell, count the minutes, count the hours, count the seconds, waiting to fucking get off. But we here. We here. Mm-hmm. It's your boy G Downs. Boy, sure. No, it ain't a party without a cup. But rolling skeet, we back, man. <laughs> You got the best. You got like the top five names. Right Do you now. remember these names? Yeah. Your neighbor with the most flavor. That boy the Rick Flair this shit. But hey man, we're gonna kick this off, man. Yeah. Wake y'all niggas up. I ain't even ask y'all how y'all did this weekend, cause it don't even matter. Everybody knew what the fuck was going on. We got a lot of shit to talk about. Let's still a big bulldog over here, man. But go ahead. Oh, man. I'm still down. Scared, man. We going to get in that later. Y'all don't do that, now. <laughs> go ahead. We going to get in that later. Ahead, but, hey, let me ask y'all a question, man. Is sex still meaningful? We going to go viral on this shit. Meaningful. Hell like, no. like, like, like. Nope. I'll, You're I, everything. I'm going to say <laughs> straight up. It yeah. can't be meaningful no more. All right. For men or women, that women will always say, oh, niggas don't care. They'll lay down anything. Obviously, y'all will, too. Show that damn Sexy mm-hmm. right, that's told us. <laughs> right. You got an SRT, and you got that sack, and you got some dread. It's on. Well, you want some shit. <laughs> sex, sex ain't meaningful to nobody. You no, know, what's meaningful is when it got down, them bill come. <laughs> yep, or that baby. And them mm. babies come yeah. and stuff. Yep. I think sex, uh, sex, sex is the new cup of water. Well, you can get that motherfucker anywhere. Mm. You can get everybody... When last time you met somebody, they were like, I'm really saving myself for marriage. Oh, the that, girl that, on the TV show that Chad Ultra was trying to hook Shannon Shaw up with, she, she, she a virgin. But that's one. I but, I mean, that, but, that might be like well, one well, out of oh, a thousand. Well, no, no, well, listen, not a, not a pure version. Some, uh, it's a lot of reborn versions out here. No, that's what I'm talking thing. about. No, I'm no talking about the version. There's no sex. No, no, no. I'm just she saying, ain't no, no. no head in there. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the reborn versions where, you know, they went through a stage in their life and then they may got to a point where whatever they was doing, it wasn't working out for them. So, they turned over a new leaf. Man, Jim, let me stop you right now. They went through their whole phase. Yeah. No, bro, that I mean, ain't no such thing as a reborn. There ain't no reborn, bro. bro. That ain't pussy been broke up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop our Like, I feel like, bro, no, we ain't got to act no more. We can keep right. the focus. Like, bro, right. no, there's no reborn, bro. There ain't no reborn, okay. it's, it's no possible way. Hey, so no you don't believe that? Like, mm-mm. Can, I, can I stop? Can I take back the dick I done gave out? No. So how a woman going to take back the pussy she done gave out? Hey, man. She can't do that. That's You, you got to tell millions of women that that shit don't. They believe that, bro. No, you no, know that, right? They, they, they believe that cost a nigga right there, sh- sitting there, feed them that. Yeah, babe, I know. Yeah, that I shit. You better. You ain't got to be like that. You that know, shit helped them sleep at night, man. Yeah. But it's funny that you say, it, it is true, though. Women always say, uh, niggas will fuck anything. But it's like, if you're fucking me, does that mean you're anything? You're the anything. Ah. So you, got, you, got, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that. That's when it hit home. Yeah, I ain't, I, I, niggas been fucking other things since the beginning of the time, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think sex, sex ever meant nothing. No matter when you go back to prostitution, the oldest form of currency. No, the, the oldest, that's the, the oldest income. The, the, no, it's the oldest occupation on this planet. Selling. The oldest occupation on the planet. The first occupation ever invented on this planet was selling person. Or, hey, here goes some this. For you, you know what I'm saying? On this planet, it ain't never meant nothing. We make sex mean something. People do. Who yep. you having sex with, who you deciding to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know when sex is better than the normal. 
You go fuck a bitch you don't give a fuck about, that pussy just okay. Mm-hmm. But if you fuck somebody that you care about, that you actually like, and you taking your time, it's like that's the best feeling in the world. I don't. The thing is, just that now, the reason why we feel like it don't mean anything now, like more than back then, is because now everybody talking about it like it ain't nothing no more. Sex right. should be discreet, bro. Yeah. You didn't know yeah. who gave good head. You got to find out. That's yeah. a fact. Now, these bitches online just, it's head sloppy, your, your booty hole wet when I get done. <laughs> <laughs> and all this other dumb shit. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like, you really like, get no whole set, a whole game before yeah. you even lay down. But now, nah, like, the, like the bounce back on what you said, now he telling the truth though, like, man, like, it, if you, when you really think about it, it's really never meant that because that even goes back in the slavery time. People making trades, giving away women to other men to reproduce. I yeah, mean, like you go watch that the shit Rev- been going on, like, like movies like The Revenant or, or, or yeah, you know, uh, what that was a good is? movie too. The Twelve Years a Slave, yeah. like, like, yeah. It, even back then, we just social, we just, uh, what's the word? We we made life more. You know what I'm saying? We 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 stopped becoming savages back then. White men were just the all word raping all women. You know what I'm saying? And black men was too. You know what I'm saying? In certain situations, and and so once. Laws became involved. We started realizing that we have to, you know, stop being savages. Then we started seeing that sex started meaning more, et cetera, et cetera. But if you go back to the 1920s, 1800s and shit like that, come on, man. We know what the fuck we're going. There wasn't no laws in place with the Wild Wild mm-hmm. West, man. And you go back before then, the medieval times, shit. Yeah, I'm supposed to hand you up in the closet or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, in now, now, like, we, like I say, we make sex mean something. We do. Like, people do. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's never going to change. If a girl go out here and mess with a hundred dudes, you still going to be a hoe. I don't give a fuck if sex don't mean none of that. You still going to be a hoe, sorry. But, you, but, but listen, it, listen, if that pussy good, does yeah. it really mean something? Because you can't leave it alone? Hell yeah, that mean the pussy available. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Charles said it first. We ain't cut off no pussy. We ain't cut off no pussy. I wasn't expecting that answer. But I'm just saying. But I, I think only time sex is truly meaningful yeah. is when she go with somebody and she fuck somebody else. Now it meant something. You, now it's a word for that. You mm, cheated. Okay. Now, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like now it means something because okay. you stepped okay. out on I'll, on somebody else. Yeah. But if if, if, if a girl is single. Sex is sex. Everybody go through that. Like what you say, like the whole phase. Yeah. Yeah, f- Usually, man, folk yeah. fucking man. Yeah, folk fucking man. I I I, I just think. Yeah, y'all just. Oh yeah, man. Folk fucking man. Folk fucking man. Fuckin', fuckin', man. That's a fuck them dress man. on. Fuck them. Uh, hey. Nah, I, 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 no rubble, nothing. I just think we gonna always look at women differently when it comes to sex compared to men. I just don't think that's gonna ever change, man. Like, men is here to procreate. You know what I'm saying? Women is here. I mean, and, and women, look, man, we as men are here to lay our seed in many places. You got some men who don't, some men, most men who do. A lot of women, if she go out here and have a baby by everybody, we going to always look at her crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, what is you? You just a cum bucket now? Yeah. You just let anybody know to you? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, every dude you meet, you just let them just spray you up. Facts. If you get a baby that's out of every true. relationship, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. Yeah, but I think sex. They're irresponsible, man. actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I just, but it ain't, it ain't never really meant something. We just made it mean something. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what time you wear. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you think young boys irresponsible? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you think Boosie's irresponsible? Yes. Yeah. I saw that nigga today, actually. I think I think every was irresponsible. I didn't tell he was irresponsible. <laughs> what? I saw Boosie today at racetrack. Man. Oh, for real? Oh, I said, what's up with the talk, Boosie? Man, you know he's wrong, man. Yeah, well, I know you. You know you wrong, man. Yeah, wrong, man. Wrong, man. yeah. Uh, children, man. But, but yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck who you with. Uh, hey, man. I think if you have a child outside of relationship, you're responsible. Period. No matter who you, yeah. woman or man. Yeah. If y'all have a ch- if you have a child with somebody outside of a relationship, you respond. I'm saying relationship because I don't want to go as far as say marriage because damn near everybody. Got everybody had children outside of marriage, of marriage. Mm-hmm. but like, but even though that that's still wrong it's too. Still it's still somewhat irresponsible like, too. Yeah, but God damn it, but now, isn't that when marry. isn't that when sex supposed to be special at marriage? Yeah, yeah, it would be. Uh, if everybody no, 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 marriage. no. Sex is not supposed to be special. Uh, it, it's not even supposed to be the best at marriage. It's best when you first meet that motherfucker. 
No, it's supposed to be special. No, it's supposed to be special though. Like if the, you, if both the way virgins, it, it was like it was married. like standard setup. You you supposed to be your wife's first, and she's supposed to be your, your first. first. So y'all they, supposed to like learn the game yeah. together. Yeah, you that's supposed, you, supposed you, to neither make it special because y'all only know but each you other. Be married to make that happen. I mean, now you don't, but you know, yeah. what I'm saying back then, you know, folks used to. If we go and buy the book. <laughs> that's what we're supposed to do. You know what are we talking about? That what we if we go yeah. by the book, that we're supposed to do, right? Well, yeah. yeah. No, no, that was just that, that was the, the the way. That's why it's so hard for a lot of women to sit up and be in a relationship with with a man because some of them got so many damn dicks to choose from. They compare the next dick to the next dick. And what I mean is not necessarily dick like good. Dick. I'm talking about like nigga who got this. This dude got more money. This dude got a little less money. This yeah. dude work over here. This dude do this. This nigga stand on the corner all day. So it's hard for a woman to sit up here. And and be with one dude because they sitting around sleeping with so many different men over Got time. Got so many options. Every girl compare every dude they ever been with the last motherfucker they were with. Yep. Facts. You yep. see what I'm saying? Men, we don't do that. We know we want when we see it. I can't say that. What? <sighs> Shit. What? But if I leave an eight, my net one can leave got to be an eight. Right. But you ain't comparing the pussies. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I yeah. ain't doing that. You know what I'm we ain't going for no eight down to no five. Nah, and nah, they nah, trying nah. to work our way back up. No. I'm, I'm nah. going to tell you, I agree with him because, listen, I, I fuck everybody equally. <laughs> I'm just oh, being real. Mean. So, do you say <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that you shit. fuck them all the same. What I'm saying, what, my bad, you go ahead. Go ahead, no, nah, go ahead. No, what I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, you know when you meet a woman whether or not what, what, her, what her ideal is for you. You know, but come on, bro. All of, I done been around every single one of us. We done said this a hundred times. We a bitch done walked in. This nigga, this, you know, back in your day, you know, saying so you might be like, I'm just using an example. Well, I married that motherfucker, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Well, you ain't never lied. Well, you better get oh yeah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you better get yeah, yeah. He ain't gonna say either. Well, I married her. I nailed her to the crowd. Yeah, you you well, know, got, got, you know. Oh, women women, women yeah. like men for different reasons. Shit, bro, I'm a big nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you a heavier set dude. You a skinny dude. It's some women who don't even like skinny dudes. Some yeah. Dudes, yeah. women who don't like skinny. Some dudes, women who don't like bigger dudes. Women like men for different shit. Yeah. A, a bitch will stop talking to you just because your goddamn feet stink, man. Yeah. <laughs> we, we'll be on some shit like. Kind of funky last night. Well, shit, I'm gonna watch them. I, I, I can work with it. I can work with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like a girl I, I, like niggas because of safety, yeah. Yeah. protecting, providing different shit. We we wonder why like like Big used to get bad bitches. Mm -hmm. He did yeah. cross out looking like this. Cross yep. out of the motherfucker. <laughs> what, what face did you just make? Like, like this. Versace shades on, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, cross out of the motherfucker. Men, we don't do that. Yeah. You can't see that behind the Versace shade. Boy, that nigga was a big player. You right. You right. <laughs> hey, it just, it just, all I'm saying is, now. all I'm saying is we different. And like when it comes to the sex part, mm -hmm. bro, it's just like it's just it, like they comparing every dude. We don't compare every female. Yeah, but I, when I we leave a bitch, bro, that shit over with. But I, but I'm I'm be real though. To to some men. I think sex is meaningful until, until that bitch cross him. But that man makes it meaningful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To that's me, it. it's meaningful. Yeah. If you go fuck one of my homeboys and I used to talk to you, I feel away. Like we used to go together. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, like this, yeah. this is my old lady I go with. I feel away. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. thinking to myself, like, damn, Shawty, like, you moving like that. Yeah. We make it meaningful. Same yeah. way with a girl. Man, a bitch will flat your tires, bust out your windows, knock on your door 1,300 times. Boy, that don't happen. All type of shit. Just because <laughs> you have, decided to go. All three of them. All, everything. You didn't, I said all, everything happened. Just because of the sex was meaningful to that person. Yeah. But that same girl can go out here to the club and meet a nigga who she don't give a fuck about but want to fuck her just that night. He want, she want to fuck him just that night. Yeah. Him. And that's what it That means, person man. made the sex meaningful between you and them. Yeah. And that person made the sex nothing between this other nigga. Right. Now she come back to you and you find out. You get what you saying? Why the fuck you just fuck a nigga for no? Just, I can't even talk to you, Sean. I, 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 I can't even talk up, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. made me do all this for the pussy. Yeah. Would you just fuck this nigga just because he bought you two drinks one night? Yeah. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, yeah. Made yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go through That's all fast, of that. All the scenarios. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite <laughs> line is: scenarios. If he can fucking leave, why can't I? Yeah. Yeah. It matters between me and you fucking. You want to fuck me and go you, with me. You yeah. want to keep me. You want to be in a relationship with mm -hmm. me. You want to just let him but get listen, all the But listen, guys, but listen, guys, but listen, nah, guys you, you, listen you know what yeah. they're going to say. It's cool when you do it. It's a problem when I do it. Shit. They're they going to say why. You know, they 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 only feedback going to always be, why do y'all get to do it? Yeah, and you want me to tell you what the answer is, the best answer? Preach. Because we different. 
Men and women are born to be yeah. different. We, we 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 the ones who sit up here trying to abide by. Oh, we all the same. No, we're fucking not. We're, we're not, not the same, bitch. I let you punch you in my. You can punch me in my face. Let me punch you in your face while we're here. Oh, God, <laughs> I clean this dick off in the sink. Put your pussy in the sink. <laughs> nope, you can't do it. You gotta go sit in the go. You gotta go do gotta all go that. Thing. You gotta get yeah. a scrub. I don't need none of that. I can rent that mother clean <laughs> off. Born to be <laughs> Every time a woman goes to the bathroom, she's got a wipe. No matter if she shit or pisses. Facts. If I piss, why yep. shake them motherfucker? <laughs> that's it, K Clo. I'm out. Yeah, that's it. It's different, bro. We we born to be different, bro. Men and women are supposed to be different. It's just that now everybody trying to change the way people think. We talked about it two weeks ago yeah. when you was here, and, and that's the fucked up part about it, man. We not supposed to be the same, man. Men made women create people. Men create things. We fucked up with this narrative. Everybody's equal. That's the, that's the the big problem. We made it, it seem like. Women and men are equal. But you know what a woman will do? She'll talk shit to you. And she'll talk shit to, like, like a woman talk shit to her nigga. And she'll talk shit to a nigga in the street. But when it actually time for the shit to go down, it's got to be between them two niggas. Facts. Ooh, mm -hmm. good point. That's facts. But if yeah. everybody's equal, if I go outside and talk shit to a nigga, I'm not looking for that woman to do nothing. Facts. Yep, that's true. Bitch, get back. She finna run in there and get baby. You gotta come on outside. Like, gotta, like <laughs> motherfucker, gotta look at this. Like we we kind of mess aside up the way it thinks that way. Like every like everybody can say what they want. No, everybody really can't then, say what they want. Then you know if what you can't stand on what you say, you don't need to say it. Too many of the motherfuckers out here talking shit behind behind cameras or talking shit because they ain't never got punched in their shit before. Fact, and you mm -hmm. know what I hate the most, y'all. Mm -hmm. I hate women that fight they nigga and think they can fight. Oh. Oh, shit. Bitch, your nigga love you. He ain't finna That's the only reason <laughs> it, it, you look like you sticking with him. Yeah. yeah. If that man stop loving you for real and knock your ass no, out. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wrong. Real. Real. That's when you, uh, if a man Facts. don't really knock his one without it's because he's thinking, I don't want to go, go to jail about this yeah. shit. Yeah. This shit set up for a uh, uh, hey, look. It is what it is, man. Look, sex is, it, it, it's depending on what you make it. That's all I can yeah. say. Sex is sex, man. Yeah, that's it. Wrap it up. So is it meaningful or not? No. If you're in a relationship, it's meaningful. If it, yeah, you're in a relationship, yeah. If you out here just yeah. free balls, but if you single, it ain't meaningful. meaningful. See, when if you're, you're playing not in a relationship, a team game, it's meaningful. When you're playing twenty-one, <laughs> but you're you out there playing about, tennis. This nigga out here playing twenty-one. He don't understand. You're playing twenty-one to five. Sex, it's not meaningful. Sex is supposed to be meaningful. If we go by the book, it's just that we fucked up as people, and it's not meaningful. Facts. We all say that, man. It ain't what it is. True. 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 All right, we're gonna move on to the next one, man. Uh, hey guys, is a uh, church necessary? She in, in this um day of society, is it necessary still? Hey man, the, the, I think the religion will go on forever, of course. I, I think, I think you know, people will forever believe in God, mm -hmm. but. Shit, man. I think I think the physical church building might got about four more years of operation in them, but like it's shit against you gotta think, man, a church is only able to grow depending on the youngest member in the church. Mm -hmm. So if the youngest member is 50, it's who, somebody, somebody has to take over. It's a it's yeah. a like a, a rotation that goes on in church. Like right. Pastor preached that he's 60. By that time, somebody's 30. He started preaching, so he take over the church. You know what I'm saying? The deacon gets old. He braves mm. up the young deacons. You know, you know what I'm saying? Man, she And we man. I, I feel like we so in this virtual world where it's like all our communication is through technology. I think that plays a big part in it too. Yeah. When you think about it, because it's like now, I mean, not to say that people couldn't People ain't been going online, watching church, watching, you know, episodes and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's, it's to a degree now where it's like, I mean, do we believe in more what we hear or see versus back in the day when you believe going in the sanctuary, getting touched, and maybe feeling some type of spirit if that's what you was into? I ain't going to lie to y'all, boy. I was raised in church. I hate that shit every week. Bro, what? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be real with you. That's I'm a tell fact. You, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Damn. Church, I think it needed, but guess what? Yeah. The people of the day ain't going. Like you said, all the, the youngest member, 50. First of all, 
that, that's what's really fucking up the church. All the old yeah. people still running it. They ain't never put no young niggas in positions. So yeah, you're not going to be in there. Mm. Then I ain't making my children go to church because I didn't even like the damn Hell shit. Hell no. Because y'all made us sit there all fucking day. So all that, day. That <laughs> shit broke me. Now, mind you, I actually did get something from it because I think, like, if not, I might be like I did stupid shit in my life, but I think I did even more stupider yeah. shit like people are doing today mm -hmm. without the church in my life. You know what I'm saying? I might not agree with everything the church talk about, but I, it made me use my common sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Like I got some type of moral. It's just certain shit I won't do. Like me and you were talking about in the car. Like if I got a problem with you, but you got your child right there with you, bro, I'm not gonna say nothing to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause your child ain't got shit to do with this. Yeah. You never know what might happen. You might feel overly threatened and got to uh, fire me up because you with your child. You ain't even trying to figure out what I got. I ain't even fighting in front of my kid. I'm like, y'all niggas know. What I'm, like, you see, you know what I'm, I'm Iron like, Man to mine. I feel my like, kid think I'm a superhero. I feel like the church gave <laughs> me a sense me of morality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't think nobody got a sense of morality no more. So, But it, I think the church needed it, but I think the church so crooked. It like, can nobody trust it? Yeah. Um, I think. Go ahead, G. No, I just but I I feel like people use church as a cleansing once a week, meaning they go out here Monday through goddamn Saturday and do all they bullshit. Mm -hmm. And what do y'all always hear when a person go to church? Man, I went to service today and I heard everything that I've been doing wrong. And then when mm -hmm. Monday morning come, like you back, back on that same shit. But see, the difference today is. We're going to do all that shit you said during the week. Right. And on when? Sunday, that's what we recouping. I ain't going to church. Am I going? Nigga, I've been, I'm we're going to brunch. But you know what? But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's I know. How, that's how. I'm saying you went, went, it yeah. went from that going into that that one day and folk fake catching Holy Ghost or the preacher directly talking to them to now. A nigga don't even care about him none of that shit. Nigga you know? ain't even going. Yeah, that's true. Uh, look, man, the Bible say, man, thou shalt not find God in a man made temple. I don't think I don't understand why people keep going. Yeah, the God, the Bible said that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You only go there, to, and, and, and then two half of the motherfuckers that talking about the people that come as is for real. Man, y'all should say that shit all the time, man. That's the reason why motherfuckers don't like going to church now. And I done went to church less than everybody up. But wonder how I know because I ain't never been to church. And y'all too know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, <laughs> you ain't yeah. never been to no, church. I, 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 I never seen him go to church. My, my, mama did, my mama did not. She she told us the opposite. You know what I'm saying? And your brother went, but you didn't go. No, my brother played basketball. He 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 had to go to church to play basketball. Like, well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never didn't believe yeah. in none of that shit. Either. We never did believe in that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like 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 half of the time, especially with y'all Christians, y'all make motherfuckers feel like they don't need to come to church. The first thing y'all ask them is, when the if I go to church right now, right now. The first Christian gonna walk up to me and make me feel like I shouldn't have came. Where you been? Where you been all this time? That stand up if it's your first time in here, motherfucker. I don't want to stand up. <laughs> all the visitors got oh, stand up. <laughs> and then you, and then you shaming me for for coming in here, talking about where I been, what, bitch. What does it matter? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> then too, then too, y'all make y'all y'all always talking about some who you should come as is bullshit. Because as soon as you come as is, the motherfucker talking about you wearing your goddamn button down polo shit. Because I ain't or uh, uh, wearing your your, your 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 same damn polo shirt from goddamn middle school and shit. Because because shit, I ain't got. Sure I, ain't I, I got on Georgia yeah. them motherfuckers. I ain't got no goddamn square toe shoes on and shit. Y'all know I'm from the hood. Y'all making them feel bad like they shouldn't even be there. Man, should nobody find church find and two yeah. on some shit you said was some real shit, man. The church is cricket now, more cricket than anything. Yeah. Only reason they want you to do it, give up time. How many times y'all got them sit up here and patty and played around? <laughs> yeah. Boy, and I was an usher, so I know I passed. Hey, hey, you usher too, boy? Was an usher, boy? Hey, I, what? Say, I stood up by the dick and I stood up by the dick and bowl. I stood up by the dick and bowl. That back door, you know? That back door, you know? Wait a second. I can't be chilling. Once I turn 13, I'll buy the back door. Oh, but, yeah, but, man. But, you but had to be nine. a real one to get that note. Oh, that time, <laughs> hey, oh, uh, that them anniversary. Oh, but them old folks busting in that hole. Like, they, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Now, I will say this hey, about y'all. But they, 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 like, the time back then when church was little or whatever, I guess you call it being lit. Man, them old folks, what? Past the anniversary mm -hmm. or goddamn some shit like that coming up. Yeah. Hold that door while that motherfucker praying like they ain't trying oh, to. Oh, boy, you trying to, grandma, you just look at you like this. <laughs> boy, I wish a motherfucker would try to come through that door. Bro, you got to crack the window and look at him and tell him, hold on, yeah. he ran. 
So oh, the- Easter Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm telling you, we're real. Family and friends, they were the whole hood. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, telling you, bro. That's they the only thing they want to what, what the one when they got down served the food and you got to go down, you can go down, stay? Homecoming. Boy, quit playing it's with them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all forgetting the best one. Mm-hmm. Them choir anniversaries. Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. could. Oh, yeah. my God. You but but you'll be there. You'll be there for like eight hours. So that, no, I, I'm gone Them on that. Now. Verse, you're going to be there for like seven hours. But the only thing I have now with church is, though, my biggest problem is they don't do shit. Mm. Like, when I was growing up, bro, like, you could literally, like, a, a bus could come to E Gate and pick you up. Mm. Like, you know well, what yeah, I'm saying? Like, little if little your mama let you get on this bus, you at church. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Or they'll have like a summer program or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sorry, I, I was talking to my mama one time when the big tornado hit hit the city and shit like that. They were talking about some, they was on like a prayer line and shit. Mm-hmm. They were praying for the city. Mm-hmm. Man, me and my mama went there like a motherfucker, man. We was in that thing like blood's crib, man. <laughs> what I, man, cause I was telling like, man, Sister Mary been paying tithe for 30 years. Y'all praying for. Her. She done called the police on black 16 times. He out there with a chainsaw in her front yard trying to get the tree <laughs> so she can get out of her house. Dang. Who, with one going to help her? They praying. Man, fuck that. That man got her out of there. Hey, she yeah. can get water. She can get supplies. Like, how was fucked up? Right, right then. I'm going to ask y'all a, a question. Y'all probably gonna be like, dang. Who had been at the first church? Uh, slave owners. I don't even know the answer to that. They used, he just, he they, used to, oh, okay. they, they used to put the uh they used to put the chairs beside the, their church and let all the black people outside okay. sit beside it. That's why we never knew their songs. That's why every song in devotion is a slave song. Now, with that being said, white people don't say it. Watch, sing it. Now, uh, the white man gave us our church, right? And and it was the whole religion. The whole, we was the slaves, right? Mm-hmm. Why though? Fuck, do we even care about a church? That's a fact. Mm-hmm. I mean, but you, got, but you got to understand that religion is nothing but hope. You shouldn't even be worried about religion. It should be spirituality. Religion, man. man. Yeah, it's man. nothing but hope. It, I can get you to do what I want you to do because you're hoping somebody's going to come. That sounds like a pimp and it's hope. But, I mean, I mean that's what it is. Woo. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Yeah. They do, they do, he's telling you. God has something good for you. It's coming. But if you give me your money, it might come fast. Yeah. Nobody's going to sit up here and tell me if I go to this building every single week or if I get this money every single week, I'm going to hell. Y'all out y'all fucking. Right Every preacher with a mega church, if you love your your congregations and all that. No, no. Bump your congregation because they're dumb because they gave you all that money. Go to a real black church that only has like five pews that's fucked up and give that money to them people that, that, that really need it. Hey, man. If, if you really think the Lord has did everything that it's supposed to did for you and you love these people, I, I challenge every preacher to go get that money away. Mega mega church preacher. Mm-hmm. They ain't going to do that. They ain't going to listen to that I'm telling you something, part. man. And a lot of people, the re- reason why, I'm going to tell you something, the reason why church, church is dwindling is because the younger people waking up. Bruh, the only people that's lost in this world, and I'm not not gonna say the only, but a lot of the most of the uh, most of the people that's lost in this world is older folks. Yep, they get swindled every week at church. The reason why nobody knew what's going in the church, it ain't because of sinning and the motherfucker don't give a fuck. It's because a lot of people see that shit as a scam. Now these young folks ain't going for that shit, man. I'm giving yeah. y'all these folks their money every single week, and when I ain't seeing nothing but the preacher come in with a new BMW or a new Mercedes. Mm. The church still, the church still the size of a goddamn on my bedroom, man. What's the difference between the, the preacher and little baby? No. Both of them niggas that gentlemen on stage perform. Just on stage perform, bro. Yeah. But little baby word gonna hit you quicker though. That's it. Yeah. And, 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 and mind you, we, we, for those who watching, we're not arguing nothing about God. We arguing about the physical the, building, the yeah. building, and. The process of what yeah, happens and, and in church. Believing in Christianity, whatever, um, Islam, anything if that makes you a better person, then go right in. That's ahead. it. But I ain't gonna we ain't gonna sit here. Well, like that boy Craft Low Dollar got by C A T M in his church. One of my one of my one of my favorite lines, you ain't gotta go to church to get to know your God. You know what? Yeah, you don't you better get to know yourself first, nigga. Yeah, then you might figure it out. So keep moving, man. Fuck fuck them goddamn. Not, excuse Ooh. me. Oh, 
Oh, them churches. Now what's <laughs> what, 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 He said them saying? churches. Do <laughs> young niggas spread up the church? Spread up the church, man. Yeah. You think I give a fuck about a nigga? Shoot up a church? We talking about the building. We talking about the building. We talking about the building. I gotta take that shit over God. Over God on this earth, man. That's what Wilson said. Future, man. That's what he said. That is the pastor. That that that's the goddamn pastor. pastor. They better hope he don't get a goddamn. He get a goddamn. Got a I'm a Plutonian. Yeah, I'm a, he, he, hey, well, who, I, I'm, I'm a, a Plutonian. Yeah. Goddamn congregation. Uh, that's a good one. All right, man. Joe Budden says he's way bigger than NBA YoungBoy while reading off YB's album sales. Uh, he's bigger, like in music, or just his, him. His just name. saying him. Um, but hold on, he, he he related it to albums. He read off his album sales. I don't know what happened. Well, basically, basically he's saying YB don't get album sales once again. Um, I don't know. He just like he he, he just trashed for hip hop. And of course, YB, um, you know, you know, he replied with the, you know, Got like a stack of money, didn't he? With the no, nah, no, nah, he ain't had no money. He was just saying basically like he named one of his albums that's still in the top ten. And he was like, stop playing with me. Don't be no snitch. Stop playing with me. He said, come up here to he said, come up here and talk to me to this graveyard or something like that. Uh, I forgot exactly what he said. He probably have to go to one of these uh social media platforms and hear the video. I can't repeat the video, right. but how about this? You know what? Fuck that. Joe Buddy, you're full of shit. You're doing that shit for clickbait. I don't blame you. I would have yeah. did some shit like that too. You trying to go down and keep the damn shit the damn shit rolling. Well, I mean, but he don't know. believe that shit. His, he don't I, I can't say shit. he don't believe it. I got to put up some numbers, man. If he would let pump that. it up, sell, man. Exactly. I put it like this. Pump it up just went gold in 2022. 23. <sighs> Young boy going gold on a song in like four months. How you going to say the yeah. biggest I'm artist. just saying. I, I mean, wait wait a minute. Finish, yeah, I, I, I mean, thing, do, you, do you believe the Joe Budden? Oh, do you believe Joe Budden make, make more money than NBA Young Boy? No. Exactly. So what is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. I ain't gonna watch the man's pockets. I don't know. Joe Budden is, let's be honest, like probably the second biggest it's probably the second biggest podcast maybe in the world, maybe. I know Joe Rogan number one. You think he behind Joe Mr. Rogan? Mr. Beast? No, but that's not a podcast. He's he's got a YouTube channel. Oh that's different. Yeah, I mean Joe Budden is huge on the podcast end, man. Like Joe Budden's so huge, the niggas that left his podcast doing good. So like yeah. Uh, Hip hop podcast definitely number one. He, he, he regard, and that's with no guests. I would have to say Joe Budden probably bigger than Drink Champ. Would Drink Champ do those numbers with, with not being on revolt? See what I'm saying? Would Drink Champ do those numbers without being on revolt? Who fucking with Joe? Who and they don't do Joe as many podcasts as Drink Champ. I mean, as on Joe Budden. They do one every week. Drink Champ do one every, every week. See, I don't watch them niggas yeah. every week. But see, but see, I'm saying they doing niggas like special ed and shit like that. You ain't really checking for that. No, no disrespect, you special ed. We fuck with your your legacy. But I'm just. Saying. Boy, I thought you. Would... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, they... Boy, I thought you mean like they had somebody on that motherfucker. I was like, wow. Nigga. No, no, no. no, no, no. Boy, I was like, no goddamn, no you ain't gonna do no shit no, like they, that. They ain't special ed. They oh, special okay, ed. okay. I'm but like, I'm saying like the they, they they do about the same amount. But I'm just saying if, if drink chunks was. On a, on, a, on a YouTube channel with three million fucking subscribers, would they be doing the number Joe Budden doing? Let's just be real now. Joe Budden doing that shit with no guests. I uh, guess what? Two twice a year? They only did Steve. They only did Steve A. Smith this year. Period. And I Damn. think they did like no, like he just straight entertaining on his own. He now back to YB. Do I yeah, think right. he even on YB level? Stop this shit. Knock it off. B. Like that's 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 a little different. Like, you know, nigga, you're not musically, but the nigga got 45 damn near gold singles. You got one. Right. One. You know what I was asking about the music? He got like 30 something platinum singles. You got none. Right. What, what are we talking about? Talking now, about now, we, now, what I'm saying is with the podcast, what I'm saying as far as bigger in overall totality, because let's be real, Joe Budden's bigger as a podcaster. Than he is as a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like his name. Yeah, like is, is Joe Budden name? Yeah. Not that why I say like is it musically? Cause you know what I mean? Nigga made one song, pump it up. Cause niggas forget Joe I mean, Budden really paved the way for this hip hop podcast shit. Who was who was doing it for him? It was two out. It was number two out. Him and Drink Champs. 
That's it. That's it. Come back, Jack. Joe Budden started before Comeback Jack. They talked about it on your podcast. Oh, see, I, ain't yeah. I thought Comeback Jack. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, was, who was doing it before Joe Budden and Drink Champ? They started around the same time. Mm. Joe Budden was the first then. You know what I'm saying? So who who's mm. bigger than him? Like, he, he, he on the podcast then, bro, he, he pretty big. But was he really throwing a shot at NBA Youngboy? He just used his name. Like, I'm basically just saying it. See, I ain't seen no, the No, no, no. He... I mean, like, like the, I, he probably said, you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm bigger than him, you know? Or was he saying, like, man, I'm, I'm a, my name is big. Fuck like, that! I ain't gonna say nothing about the young boy. I want you to get on the podcast, Mr. Ronda. I, I got your message. I'm gonna call you when I get a chance. I forgot. I just seen it. Young boy bigger than that nigga. Apparently, something. Anybody else want to say something about that? I mean, yeah. I mean, I. I, I I, I agree. Musically, name, musically, but young boy. He did shit, the right. He, he did the right thing. Kind of, he got us talking about it. True. Made, made rounds. True. And my thing is, I ain't gonna say it's hater. Like, it is hating. I ain't disagree with you yeah. on that. But I'm no, saying, I what I mean like, is, this I don't is what think he, he even mean what he say. That's what I'm saying. This is what he do. Like, Dude, this he, is just how he talk. Right. He knows is how. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah. does he really he's mean moving the needle? Right. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. He moving the needle. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Yeah. Cause I don't even really. Think, I don't think that nigga believe nothing he was saying, bro. Like, he's a, he's a former rapper. He mm-hmm. understands how hard that shit is to do what young boy's doing right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. So it is what it is, G. We keep it moving, man. Joe, we fuck with you too, Joe. Pump, pump it up. One single. I y'all. play with you on Def Jam. Well, we take that. Let's go to sports, man. Fuck that shit. Ski. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. No, let's breaking, go, breaking. Let's, news, go, let's go to UGA first. We can talk about we can talk about the NFL after that. Breaking news. You Your that, Georgia man? Bulldogs. I won my loss. Bet, Told y'all. To the Crimson Tide. Those motherfuckers want shit, B. You right. I told y'all. Nick shit, Saban B. has reclaimed his throne. Mm. Told now, y'all. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this before we start. Okay. I want y'all to remember everything y'all said before, before we start on this now. What you mean? And it, you and G, I know y'all the two Georgia haters in here. Now, I ain't no Georgia hater. I ain't hater. no Georgia hater. Uh, I, I just, y'all, said, y'all I just the, said what I been saying. I, they ain't play no fucking body. Okay. So 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 okay, all right. So let's let's start there. Go ahead. You, you finish your soliloquy first. I don't want to stop you. That nigga said soliloquy. Hey, hey, let's go. <laughs> uh, if, if they would have beat Alabama, that would have been the second ranked team all fucking year. Kentucky, Missouri. Keep going. No, Kentucky was not ranked when they played Georgia. Okay, go ahead. Because they were. They was ranked. Cut one on one. The Missouri was Ray ranked. Ray Davis. Ken- they was ranked, brother. Kentucky was ranked. Hold on, cause I'm on it now. I'm on it right goddamn now. Oh, we got to keep talking now. We on the pod. We keep going. Because Kirby Smart has us playing like the old Alabama when they was winning championships. Okay, we need a black quarterback because I, 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 Georgia, we got we got a breakdown. We got to go get one of you. We need to go get Arch Manning we, or we need to go get us a nigga that can run around and, and – Slang man, that Archie ain't talking about nothing either, though. But mm. man, look, yeah, man, don't folk, don't folk put a real defense out there on Georgia, man. Them folk got down, shut down, brought by what he had him for fifty three yard. I mean, I, I ain't gonna say he didn't have nothing, but but he he didn't have a big game. He was really he had acquired well, a fifty three yard. Down. We just started playing to two men left in that goddamn. Yeah, that man, man, the folk, man, the folk, and and Alabama just played good, man. They play. I think the only. I think it, like, I, like like now when they we look, really beat ourselves. If Alabama see Texas right now, they'll beat Texas. I think Texas caught Nigga, Alabama. If we see anybody in that top four, we'll beat their ass right now. I, that, that was a wake up right there. Like, I swear to God, bro. No, just, man. That was the, I just want like, like Sean said. Wake up. Like Sean said. Like I've been said. Schedule uh, schedule strength matters. But it, I just don't how you that shit matters, matters, bro. You were wrong on that too, but go keep going. Strength, I really strength, don't strength, strength I'm in, I, I, I'm in, I'm in a ranked team that don't play. No, I'm talking about strength of schedule been mattering. I looked that up. Strength of schedule been mattering for the longest. The reason why Georgia was ranked number one because they had the number one ranked recruiting class coming in. Now, they, they, the schedule at the beginning of the season was uh, one of the worst or whatever coming in, but once they beat Missouri, who's ranked number 12. Now, what were they ranked then? 12 when they beat Missouri. I'm looking at it right now. They were ranked 12. Missouri was ranked. They was, they was 10 and 1 when they played Georgia, brother. Tennessee was 8 and 4. Kentucky yeah, Tennessee was, wasn't ranked, Kentucky right? Kentucky was 7 and 4 before they played Georgia. Okay, but what was Tennessee? They wasn't ranked. 
I don't know. If, I don't know if they were right, but they beat a twelve and one. They beat a ten and one team, but and I'm they didn't beat them. They right shellacked though. them. They beat the hell out of them. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, 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 I want everybody to finish their stuff before we start. Before I start talking, but were they ranked? Missouri was ranked. No, I'm ten, Tennessee, and who else you just said? I'm not there? caping for Tennessee. I'm just saying that they are part of the SEC. This, this not act like SEC football is not the number one football conference in the country. It yeah, is. I, it I, is. SEC always but been I'm a saying, tough they, I ain't they, never did, did Alabama lose to an SEC team? Yes or no? No. So what are we talking about? They lost to a team that ain't even in their fucking conference. I mean, they, they lost te- to Texas, Texas, right? Texas. Yeah. Okay. Now let me say what the watch it. Georgia. There's no reason why Georgia should got knocked out that top four. I don't give a. We lost one game. And we only lost Man. by three. Y'all won in week six and got dropped to two. Y'all won and when, got when dropped. When Nick Saban was at the top of the mountain, this shit wouldn't even be a discussion. They mm. might got them shoot the motherfuckers who put mm. in the top four. Just not act like it ain't about the money. Mm. I mean, I, I, it's not act like it ain't about the money. I mean, it is about the money because ain't no way Florida How State. How the hell Florida State? Ain't Florida undefeated. State, the only team I feel like should still be in there. How the hell Florida State undefeated and then they still in? They I think, I think, I think they 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 dropped Florida State just because Florida State on their okay. third screen quarterback. Let, let me let me let me go to get to the analytics because we just now we just talking shit. Okay, number one, Georgia, the only team to turn over the ball against Alabama, right? Alabama didn't make no fucking costly turnovers in that game. Two pass interference calls should have been called in that Georgia floor, in that Georgia True. Alabama game. Mm-hmm. That would have been the t- tide changer. Georgia had a fucking uh, false start when they were kicking the field goal with they with they with they kicker in the Before game. Half time. If that game was played ten times, Georgia would have beat the brakes off Alabama. It's just that Nick Saban knew the first team that messes up will lose. lose. Let's not act like. Alabama didn't beat Georgia year before last. Yeah, and, I, I, let, me, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'll let y'all cook. Okay. Let, me, let me cook. Let's not act like Alabama didn't beat Georgia year before last in the SEC championship. And then Georgia came back in that championship game and beat the brakes off them people. When I said and told everybody, watch when they play Georgia. You was, I told they you to bet three money. three times that time. Played them two times. Two times that season. They played them two times that season. season. And I told they, you, they, me and you, I, I thought they played in the Before the season. podcast started, we, before that season, I told I said, Cup, bet on Georgia, Cup. They're going to beat the brakes out of them folks in that game. I told oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember I said, that. I said, yeah. they played in the next championship, they're going to beat the brakes out of them folks. Yeah. Alabama played a better game, a turnover-free game. But then what I just said, I just said that. Oh, no, no, no. The first things I heard you say were well, them boys were trash. Yeah. We Ooh. beat ourselves. I, 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 just then before we start, I said, I said, y'all make sure y'all 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 say what y'all gonna say. Oh, y'all, y'all all I said <laughs> all year, them folk has not played nobody. And they just, lost to the team. But they in the toughest country. They in the toughest country. I mean, country. I get that. Y'all they lost to the team. I'm not the only one saying this. It might have been, no. it might have been, it might have been one year out of maybe yes. the last 20 is, where the Big 12 may have had a better conference than the SEC. Bro, the head, Kirby bro, said it. Them folks, Kirby Smart is 40 and 0 against everybody else in this country. Bro. I know, but get what he said. The only team he done lost to, period. Exactly. In his whole career is Alabama 1 and 2. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. So it don't matter who else they play. They beat the brakes off of them. No matter who but else they play. They still got Michigan, to play somebody Michigan. during the year. No, they don't. They lost to Alabama. If they didn't lose to Alabama, they'd be number one right now. True. That was about three points. But so, okay, so what happened when y'all won and dropped the two? Why did you drop? Because the who who went up to uh, number Ohio one? State Michigan or Michigan? Ohio State. Ohio State. Why? No, Ohio State went to one. They went to one. Yes. And then they lost to Michigan. Then they lost to Michigan. And, and, and then they dropped back to two. Yeah. yeah. But, but see, Michigan had. But then Georgia went back up to number one, right? Yes. But why did y'all win and drop? It was just strength of schedule. That's what I've been saying. Y'all act like I've been saying something wrong. No, 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 no. I've been uh, saying this all, the whole time. It's a sprint of schedule, let me, bro. let me ask you this then. Do you believe, after this loss that we just had, since we are guarding, that any of those four teams can beat Georgia right now? I mean, I, 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 I. Yes, no, Cup. Yes. Who? 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 Don't say Michigan. Who? Bama, they just beat you. Boy, they wouldn't win it again. Up. They wouldn't win it again. That, that, that is the, the wildest statement. Back, bro. Do y'all that, not, did y'all not watch that game? That's the wildest statement I've ever heard. They play a game uh, 10 more bro, times. Georgia Saban beat them. Buy his nails you can say that about anything. No, you could just. Nah, you no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. If, if Curry and Curry LeBron play again the, the same finals, it, it 10 more times. The better team going to win out of seven games, Cup. But for one game, if them folks play 10 times in the football game, Georgia will beat the brakes off them folks. Foot, I, basketball, I you play. That. No, 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 I mean, okay, I, 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 I got you on that. I mean, but what I'm, saying, what, I'm, what I'm saying is football, you don't play sometimes. Football, yeah. you play one time. Kirk, 
a Nick Saban knew we can't make no mess ups against this team. That's True. all I'm saying. If them folks play some game series, there's no way in the fucking hell. Bro, this is the reason why I told you that Georgia was going to beat Alabama that year in the national championship. I said, cut, bet your money. Because I knew Georgia had three turnovers against Alabama. Just, just like last night, which we're going to get to, the 49ers beat the Eagles. There's no way in hell they can beat them folks. On any field, any turf, whatever. But let's 49ers turn over the ball four or five times. We're going to get to that in a minute because I heard y'all talking about that shit in the goddamn, in the what's called. But, <laughs> but, but there's no way... I know I'm not saying Alabama ain't ain't got enough athletes like Joe. They do, but that team was better than them. They, bro, they the reason why Alabama got the turnover because they tried to do it in and out, and then your boy brought by, not brought by, but uh, Carson, uh, what you call it, tried to hand the ball off, and they fumbled it in the backfield. Yeah, they a false start on the field goal, game tied, going overtime. But I'm saying, but I don't get that. That's a part of the damn game. No, I I understand that. But guess so what? So y'all saying is 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 it's the reason why Alabama, Alabama just locked up because y'all fumbled. That's part of the game. No, it's a, no. It's if just you a, throw a pick, you turn the ball over. When, 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 ask me a question, Skeet. Mm-hmm. When USC played Texas, right? Mm-hmm. Who was on Texas team that was good? Vince Young. You, Vince Young. Who else? Earl Tony. Okay, who was on USC team that made it to the NFL? On oh, USC. USC. When you read your them though. Uh, shit, the whole defense, him, Lind- Lindell, and they all went in the first round too. Mike they Williams, yeah, Mike, round, Mike, right? Mike, Mike Williams, uh, Reggie Bush, uh, Matt Liner, Lindell oh, White, Matt, the safety, all first round. Oh, first first round. round. But guess pick. what? That yeah. one game, yeah, they, they lost. Gonna play out of this fucking first round game. That Reggie Bush not from the football. Yeah. No, they fucked up. I don't got to do it. They played the SC 10 times. They would have beat them. 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 Matter of yeah. fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, remember when the Eagles won the last Super Bowl? Remember the remember the backup quarterback? He didn't Carson make Carson Wentz. Motherfucker. No, 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 Nick Nick Foles didn't make a mistake. He went perfect in the playoffs. To who and who they beat? Who did they beat? Who did they beat? Who did they beat that year? The Patriots? Yeah, but he, ain't no way. They, went, ain't no way that he played Tom Brady five more times. He would have won. They did not. But the Patriots, the, the, the Patriots lost that year with, with uh, Randy Moss. Football is who is going to stay. Oh, yeah, mistake free right football. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alabama played mistake free. Football. I just don't think it's fair for you to say though they play ten more times. Georgia beat I, the fuck out of them. The thing is, did they win when it mattered? The, the thing is, with that, I can't prove that, and you're completely right on that. What I'm saying is that that game last night. Ain't no Georgia Jets. They didn't play nobody. No. No, they that's, what that's what I'm arguing with you. That's the only part I'm arguing with you. They didn't play. They beat the brakes off of anybody else they played them, bro. You go get Washington. They can't stand up the Georgia offense See, the, for the line. They're too small. I get it. I get Georgia what y'all are saying. They're too small. See, but but this this the, 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 what y'all are saying, the argument would make a whole lot better if it were NFL when they don't pick their schedule. No, what I'm saying is I, that, I don't, what I'm saying is it's a discrepancy in college football from SEC and everybody fucking else. You can't go get the 130 ranked team to play George. They will lose a hundred times in the fucking row. Yeah. Period. So I, guess I, what? I guess. You go get them teams like Michigan them in the Big Twelve, and I'm not saying they ain't good at this and that, but they can't stand up the Georgia offensive defensive line. Bro, bro. They it, will it, annihilate bro, them. Bro, it, listen, it, it, it's on another level. Like, it, it, name a time in the SEC. I'm talking about when it was like LSU, Alabama, like Auburn, everybody was good. Bro, you don't see no 73 to 10, 69 to 12. That ain't gonna happen. 50 to 8. I mean, I get it. That's that how I know happen. them teams ain't playing nobody. But guess what? As soon as they play a SEC team, guess what? It'd be the opposite. 40 to goddamn seven. If if because Ala- the defense dominate. If Alabama win the championship and I, they win it running away, I'm gonna be like. They gotta throw it. Thank Georgia for fucking up. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, that y'all, good. y'all just act like Alabama just trash. <laughs> no, 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 they got to play Michigan. If they beat Michigan by more than two touchdowns. Bro, they no, going. No, hey, listen, they like, going. Alabama automatically. They going if, they, if they beat Michigan, bro. First thing I, y'all going to think of, is, well, Georgia would have killed them in battle. No, no, I'm not going to think that. You know what I'm going to think? There's no reason why Georgia should not have still been up there. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I just don't think. No, I can't say because, that. Because, 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 because when, like I say, the same thing that year. Shit, they didn't got, drop got them on um, when Georgia locked them in the conference championship game. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Why y'all going to drop Georgia out of there now? And just because they Texas lost, beat them? Just no, because, because they lost to a number 18. When Alabama lost to Georgia, they were number two. 
But listen, you know, you, you know what's I, so they sad. lost to number one. You know what's so sad about the SEC? Georgia, bro? Alabama failed to four. My bad, G. Alabama Look. failed to four. If 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 number one lose to eight, come on, y'all know what's going on. Look, listen, you know what's so sad? What I'm about to say, it's been known. I'm not saying it's now. Now maybe like two teams, but like just in 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 the timeline. The sad part about the SEC is that. It's always been at least three teams that could wipe the flow with any other other teams in any other conference, bro. But yep. the, but the sad part is they got to play each other and somebody got to take a loss. Yep. See what happened was what fucked everybody up is Louisville didn't win. If Louisville would have beat fucking Florida State, it wouldn't matter. The Florida State didn't get in. I I know, but if Louisville would have beat Florida State, Georgia and Bama would have been in there. No, it would still wouldn't matter because it wouldn't affect the Texas. It wouldn't affect the Texas. Texas, no, the reason Texas got in because they, they beat, beat Bama. Alabama. They beat Bama, yeah. They beat Bama. And, and guess what? And Bama got in because you can't have not no SEC team in the national championship. And, got, and, and Bama got the Hockey, SEC championship. And they got the SEC championship. So we can't put Georgia in. We got to put Bama in. And we got to put Texas in. The reason why Florida State ain't in there is because, one, they lost their fucking quarterback. That's it, it don't make sense. Washington, they don't want to. Washington no. only in there for the Cinderella story. They know they have no chance. No, but, but they got the best quarterback but, out the whole. But Washington, I think Washington, but Washington beat Washington Oregon this. twice. Yeah, and I'm saying they got the best quarterback out the whole little playoff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, but yeah, guess what, though? Washington, Penis. Washington Penis. might. quarterback? Penis, right? Phoenix? Phoenix, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. Washington might buzz Texas' ass. No, I well, think well, they no, could. But Texas, Texas got to play Michigan first. No, no Bama, Bama got to play. Bama, you right. No, Bama, Bama got to play Michigan. You're Bama for yeah, Yo, I'm telling you, but while we talking about this, y'all, I think that shit could everybody now talking about some can't wait the next year when it goes. I ain't on that. 12 team too fucking much, bro. Oh, no, no, no. You got to go 12. Now, you got to go. What the shit that happened this year? You got, you got to go 12. Bro, I do not want to see no lemon two team and it, talking about they ain't the fucking, they, they were 13. Nah, because uh, f- fuck Georgia. Because of what they did to Florida State, they should have a chance to play for the national championship. Now, now I agree. That, but I, I'm How more mad that I, I'm I'm mad that people are advocating parading. They mad and mad about Georgia. I think people should be more mad with Florida State. If I was Florida State, I wouldn't even play in the fucking ball. man. Fuck Florida State, nigga. I'm mad about <laughs> dog, man. Them <laughs> boys went undefeated, man. Florida, nigga. And then, no, I'm just saying, but them boys went undefeated and won and their championship, and bro. Look, and then look at then look at um um Ohio State, bro. They lost by uh, the end of the game touchdown, I think, or whatever to 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 uh, Michigan, bro. And, and I ain't gonna lie, Marvin. They Harrison was winning the Jr. game. They were winning the game the whole nasty. fucking way. That nigga yeah. nasty. Come on, man, Florida, man. Ohio, that was some bullshit. But I just think it should be eight, bro. Either way it go, it should be. Eight, Georgia eight be, teams in the playoff going in. Georgia should be playing for they at least the chance to play for their national championship. Man, motherfucker, talking about Liberty City. I, I feel like they gonna go by. Okay, they won their championship game. They won. Then you should just pick the four conferences and whoever win the championship out of them automatically, automatically, automatically go. Automatically, all the other shit that's irrelevant. But but you know why we having this conversation? Because they lost. That's the only reason. We, that's the only reason we want new shit. No, no, no. We have what's talking about what about the playoffs? No, that, that's the only reason Georgia fans now want it to be new because Georgia lost. Oh, no, we, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Then we lost a lot of damn years into the last man, two man, years. If, if Georgia, we if losing. Georgia would have won, we would not be even be talking about this shit. We weren't talking about what we lost before the Alabama, LSU, I'm Florida, saying, all them years. But now I'm, I'm that's saying true, man. I agree with I, we just twelve teams totally in the playoffs. Cause yes. this ain't never happened to Alabama. Yeah, Alabama, mm. but Alabama shit. ain't never lost to the number eighteen. Y'all don't want to finish the whole statement. They lost to number one, uh, two lost to one and failed to. Four. We had to watch a weekend one of the championship lost to LSU eight one year, seven to eight or whatever that bullshit That's was. True. Right, like I don't want to hear that shit. Hey man, man, dogs shit, man. In you should have won. <laughs> what did I think about the game last night between uh, 49ers and Eagles? What about that? Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, what y'all think? Tell me what you I think for the nouns, I think they were just they they more hungry. Well, I mean, they were just clicking. They were just clicking, bro. Clicking, man. That run by D. I, I, Samuel. I think they, yeah, go ahead. That that touchdown uh, catch by Christian McCaffrey. Them folk, them folk, had just, them folk were just clicking, man. I ain't gonna lie. I think um, I think I think that was a game of of the coaches because y'all did y'all you know it was an adjustment made at the halftime. I like, like Shannon. Like Philadelphia was in the game and shit. It seemed like uh 49, they switched the game plan on them and they couldn't do nothing about it. 
Maybe it's the oh 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 was it Purdy? Maybe it was the strength of schedule. Maybe the Eagles ain't played nobody in the 49ers. <laughs> and the 49ers are just showing you they're out there kicking yeah, ass right stop now. Stop it, man. That's why it, though. Hey, let me tell you. Eagles don't they don't, don't, they they don't, they don't do that. Don't do that. Eagles don't do that. The Eagles beat the Cowboys. They don't beat some people, like man. That. Stop it, man. Chris stop it. The Eagles don't beat some people. You too. Hey, man. I don't. That's just they don't beat some people. That nigga said, "Baby, the motherfuckers." <laughs> but I, I can see that because they Eagles, Eagles didn't pick their schedule. They don't beat some people though. Yeah, I'm, but he just saying they could do the oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. uh, I, I don't know about the second well, half yeah. adjustment because Forty Nine is winning going to the second half. So uh, yeah, I, I, shit, man, I fuck with you. Let, let me brother. tell you something, man. And and I think y'all said something about uh, before we started about the the, the Eagles. The Forty Nine is one of the most man. Look here, man. Them folk talk shit the whole week. Both teams. The Eagles been, 49 have been set. Debo Samuel said it last year. We would have had our quarterback. We would have beat the brakes off y'all, folks. Yeah. Eagles don't talk shit back. Y'all don't want to see us, all this other shit. I don't even think it was, I don't, bro, the game last night was, was fucking screen plays. Debo Samuel's 90 yards. It wasn't no yeah. coaching. Them folk beat the brakes off them people last night. Straight up and down the field, nigga. You gonna take this arm shit with tackles. You. Arm tackles. Man, they third wide receiver, Jennings, was better than a third cornerback. And he, he, they just was stiff arming them folk. Get the fuck up out of here. Look here, man. And 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 what his name is? But who do you think needed that victory more? The Eagles or the 49ers? It don't matter who the 49ers play. I said, well, right. I said no, right. I'm just saying. Because their record was worse. So they're going to need Yeah, it. of course. But, 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 but what I'm saying, they, I mean, go, go ahead. Go ahead. It's go football, ahead. bro. Once you, go, yeah. once you get tackled one time, it don't matter who did the record. Well, that was a preview basically probably to the NFC Championship. NFC Championship. Them folk were talking trash both sides. Talking, yeah. I know you watched it. Yeah. Both sides talking trash all week. They don't want to see us. Two deep, both defenses are are perennial, but no, 49 do got a better defense than the Eagles. But the offense is, it like, it could go either way. Either way. But Christian McCaffrey, I feel like. Especially on paper. On paper, they damn near look identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey, bro. It just. And they last year. Let me think. How could I. Whatever Jokic is in the NBA, that is Christian McCaffrey on the football field. He can do it all. Yeah, that wasn't nasty. Like man. he shouldn't be able to do it. Like, like his dad was good, like for the buck, for the Burko, But you didn't, you wouldn't have thought this nigga man. was gonna be like that. Man, look at he possibly could be the MVP. The the, the four the Niners were all black into the stadium, man. Like, boy, we gonna bury y'all niggas. Did they come out of Kodak <laughs> again, bro? I, I don't know, but I can't remember. Last time they came after that, yak, but they on, went man. crazy. Them bro. folk were all black. We gonna bury, man, bro. Six straight possessions, not no. Six straight possessions in football, all touchdowns. Straight. Think, hold on, G. Hold on, yeah. G. Six straight possessions, all touchdowns. That means you can't do nothing with us. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing with us. You can't do shit. Who the fuck scores on six straight possessions? Uh, the, going the into the going into the fourth quarter, y'all yeah, be talking about Jalen Hurts. He had 196 yards, man. He ended up with 296, <laughs> but guess what that means? That the fourth quarter we backing off anyway because we ain't gonna let you score. So yeah. you, I'm gonna ask you a question. You don't think the 49ers? You don't think they just clicking right now? Bro, they beat them folks 42 19, G. But you think that can happen again if they, they play each other again? 42 19. Yeah, okay, I mean, it'd be a closer game. I, I, I don't know if y'all seen a different game, but them folks will beat the hell out of them folks. I'm gonna tell you they what. beat them 42 19 to turn around and beat the beat the Cowboys 42 10. They, I'm gonna tell you what they. I'm gonna tell you what it made me. Say 84 like, points against two teams. I believe that if they would have had their quarterback last year, they might have won the Super Bowl. They won. They, they only beat them 19 12 or some shit like yeah. that, right? Yeah. If Bob Purdy had been there last year, they would have beat the hell out of them folks, man. God, I ain't gonna lie. That dude, I'm Y'all know what I mean, right? What? Debo and Christian. What? Man, goddamn San Francisco friend of brain, that Joe Burrow bad guy. <laughs> that, that boy been sleeping in their car and shit. Man, bro, no fucking way, man. The, 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 the Eagles got a hope. The only way, bro, and because and I want to make sure I make this clear. So when, when we come back and, they, and something happened, I know that y'all know I said this. The only way the Eagles going to beat the 49ers or any team going to beat them, they got to win a turnover battle. That's the ultimate equalizer in the football game. Eagles turn the ball over. I mean, the 49 turn the ball over three times. Eagles better win because you can't you can't afford to turn the ball over twice in an NFL game and win. But I'm gonna tell yeah. you, I, I know that's the like, ultimate equalizer. I, I think the Eagles fuck up it. They get too happy with throwing that goddamn football. They gotta run yeah. that. Yeah, like man. y'all got some good running back. Like oh, what's it called when they hand that motherfucker out there? That nigga makes shit happen. Ain't swift over there. Yeah, yeah that run. nigga ain't no toe, bro. Like, that nigga run that swift, motherfucker. Like man. Christian McCaffrey, like he's the total package, but. Swift is a motherfucker burning that ball. That counter. They got the, nigga like, bro, that nigga is a motherfucker with that bitch. But they get too happy trying to hit. Got the, um. AJ Green. A, nah. AJ uh, Green, but, uh. AJ, um. Uh, 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 Brown? Brown, yeah. AJ Brown. Like, y'all got weapons, but y'all weapons. The quarterback y'all got, y'all got a play action pad. 
Bro, they oh, you got it. You got bro, 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 they couldn't do nothing with them, man. The but, team, the team ran the ball eighteen times. But you know how many yards they had? But it's like, like three hundred. It's, it's certain like when you got to run it though. Like they. Hold, hold on, hit me out though. This is what I'm saying. They can't do nothing with them. The Eagles ran the ball eighteen times for a total of forty six yards over five niggas, bro. Jalen Hurts had twenty. He led the team in rushing. Oh yeah, I mean, thirteen I, from D, from Swift, six from Marcus Mariota because had to put his ass in in garbage time. Five from goddamn Kenneth Gainwell and two from Bart. They couldn't do nothing yeah, with look, them. Listen, that what Mariota at? Yeah, they couldn't do nothing with said, them, bro. Because y'all trying to run these fucking options. You know, you know what goddamn San Francisco with them? Man, hand that shit to that cracker, man. And he did yeah. go. <laughs> 93 hey, yard, Christian McCaffrey. We ain't trying to got that. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Kyle Shanahan is a wizard over there, man. Yeah, hell yeah. That boy ain't playing. But this is what I'm saying. When you, when 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 the when the 49ers got the ball, they could the Eagles couldn't. Bro, they had 146 yards rushing, bro. That shit was surgical. Surgical. You That means you can't do nothing with us. Yeah. 40. It's NFL. This ain't college. Mm-hmm. You lose 40 something to something. Yeah, y'all can't do nothing with us. The only way they gonna beat them is if they turn over the football. You got to get them to start trying to do trick plays or some or knock the ball out of something. But that's that what they do. They anyway, do trick though. play though. Trick play. You don't know a Debo or running back. Oh well, yeah. But that ain't trick play. I mean trick play. I mean trick play like fleet flippers or uh, that in and around like Georgia trying to run and shit like that type shit. But like they got to hope for the Niners, bro. They did not budge, offensive line or defensive line. If they was on offense, they offensive line pushing their defensive line back. If they was on defense, we getting penetration. The nigga was sat, goddamn. How many times this nigga was sat? It was, it was a wake up call game. They, they, woke <laughs> they, up. they needed, they on. needed that shit though. They needed that. They shit. needed that. Then they, then they start the Philly push too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit, hey right, man, man, no boy got a bosa on that defensive line. He sat they three got, uh, What the name? Um, Young, the other nigga that came from Washington. Chase Washington, Young, yeah, Chase Bosa. Young. Both of them played. Uh, uh, yeah. Fred Warren in the middle. Man, shit, man. Both Come got on, a score man. now. But Davis but out there. Charles Brevin ain't nothing. Talk still about their G, they, man. Um, they only, the only G that won oh, this weekend. Hold on, hold on. Wait, John, still a general yeah. manager. Uh, like, I thought John Lynn was in Tampa, you know, Tampa Bay. No, he might be something. No, no, he, no, no, he played free safety. Uh, Charles Brevin yeah, in Tampa yeah, Bay. But I'm saying, like, he, like, he picking, like, he they general. players, yeah. Man, that's why that defense look like. That man. defense good, though. Okay, he ain't got nothing, but hey, man, if he get that line, like when they, they used to have Patrick Willis and, uh, and Navarro Bowman and all them tight motherfuckers. Yeah. But they build that defense like that again. One like, Foster over there, too. Them niggas never lose, boy. Yeah. Green Bay, man, good win for them last night. Hell of a win. I don't even like that, G. Like it's the only G that won, man. Y'all uh, still ain't going nowhere, but in a good Love league. is the best developer quarterback I've seen during the season I've seen in my life. He looks even amazing. That motherfucker looked good. Compared he to scared how, the shit out of me, though. That, 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 that rainbow pass he yeah. did. I said, look at this. But I'm saying, man. compared to how he looked in the beginning of the season to now, that motherfucker, that's surgical, man. I can't even sit up here and lie to you, man. He making Christian Wood, them, and all the motherfuckers look like. Stars, yeah, they 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 looking good. Ain't nobody been on the team now, y'all. Three now, years. now it would be a different game if they call that passing friends at the end of the game. Now, come on, on the hell Mary. Come on, no, nah, not on the hell Mary. Come on, before that, when it was one on one. Oh, with, yeah, uh, Valentine, Val, 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 Valdez, yeah. Scatlin, them, and, and, and Valentine, completely and closed fuck line Scatlin, man. He completely closed line that man. <laughs> and fuck Scat, he knew he wasn't gonna get that call, but we traded you, boy. My what, get up. That, that's that's fine, but like I just say, man. Hey man, I, I, uh, what his name is? Patrick Mahomes playing with nobody, bro. Hey man, I had a coach, uh, coach Wage, tell me, man, if it if it come down to it, you open the pad, uh, uh, man, uh, a call get turned or a flag get thrown, you shouldn't have never let it got that close. Well, oh, I don't want to hear that shit, man. They should have called, man. They should have called a lot of shit, man. But you got to you, you have to call the game the way it's supposed to be called. Fuck that big big pack of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to let y'all know something, man. I mean, with with the AFC looking the way that it's looking, it don't matter if the Chiefs won or lost. They they do have a long way to go because they got Patrick, something Patrick Mahomes ain't playing with nobody. He ain't got nothing. Their defense solid. Did know. y'all see uh, Kelsey sitting on the sideline by himself? Man, Kelsey was limping toward the end of that game, man. I don't know. He get They can't keep throwing him the ball like that. That shit hurt him, man. He can't get. He can't have thirty two targets a game, man. Hmm. Well, they're missing someone. Maybe a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cheetah was showing his ass Sunday. That was a and good one. That was a good one. This. Hey, man. <laughs> For the first time in four games. Hey man, I don't give a damn when it was. He wasn't looking sad. I'm Sunday. with Kelsey that. Kelsey was. Hey, get what though? Said, remember they're missing that Kelsey cheetah. about to get off a of swift and get his ass back in that gym or that, something. That was that was fucking. Kelsey, that was going on. We got yeah. women problem. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta leave it alone, man. man. Ain't no matter. Ain't, ain't nobody, <laughs> see, ain't nobody see them 49ers and they healthy getting their ass blitzed. I don't give a fuck who it is. Except for the dogs. Anybody. <laughs> he said, except Oh, y'all gonna yeah, beat the brakes off, y'all. Like, y'all that. Man, bro, y'all can even, like bro, y'all can even beat the <laughs> fucking commanders, bro. Stop this shit. The commanders? <laughs> That's the worst name in football. <laughs> y'all can even beat the commanders. Team, like, who y'all, who y'all got this weekend between uh, the Eagles and the Cowboys? Eagles? It don't matter. They both of them got beat by the Niners. Oh, my God. You put both of them together, the Niners will beat them nigga eight or something. Man, stop it. God damn, But the Eagles Sean. still, who's still number Sean, one? Who, who still got shit. the best I record? Don't bro, who got the best record? Cowboy, I, don't, I don't, bro, let me tell you something, Parsons. man. The record don't mean shit. Wow. Sean said if you what? put both who, of them who, together. Who, 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 we might ain't got to see them. Who played who play the Super Bowl at home? Is it in San Francisco this year? Nobody. That's my point. Oh, but sometimes The record don't mean nothing. Sometimes that bye week helps. <laughs> it don't matter. I don't care if a bye week. Whatever. The better football team usually wins. That's just what it is. So you saying right? So you saying based on that game that the 49ers is a better team than the Eagles because they beat the hell out of them, even though they not, even though they got. A I got one record. question for you. Why the hell do I need to answer that? I'm saying you just made my damn record, point. But they might have had a good game. Washington beat. Uh, who, who did they beat? They beat a good team this year. Did they beat the Cowboys? Washington got one win. Who did they beat, Greg? Uh, it was a good team. No, they got more. You know Carolina, what I'm saying? It was a good team. Carolina got one win. But what, Carolina Carolina got one win. But what, what the point? Who the I'm trying fuck? To, they be out no, listen, no, no. The point, the point I'm trying to make. They did beat a good team, but that don't mean just because they. Did you watch the game last night? No, I, I didn't want to know. Do you watch the game? If no, you didn't watch the game, then you won't need to have the conflict. Oh man. No, I'm, I'm just being honest with you because if you didn't, well, watch I, ain't, the game, I ain't watch it all the way through. Okay, then so so if you watch the game, you know who's the better team. That's what I'm saying. When 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 the Falcons went against Shannon Sharp in the Super Bowl, who the hell thought the Falcons gonna win other than this dude? Hey, one thing about it, nigga. <laughs> Look, I, let me tell you about our Falcon players before that game. Eugene Robinson out there trying to buy pussy and shit. <laughs> Like, oh, we had reasons man. why we lost, nigga. Like, I, we had a whole scandal. Right? Okay, 40, 40, 40, 40, 48 to 17 is the reason why y'all lost. Right, okay, 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 listen. So, hold on. Right, we, so didn't have a, we didn't have a whole sexual assault scandal. And let me ask you no, a question. They were talking shit. You can't talk shit to Shannon Sharp. Y'all wanted that smoke now. Let when me. you talk shit, that means you want it. <laughs> but we, yeah, but we got to think everybody's locked in. Everybody wasn't locked in. They were like the Super Bowl. They had to be locked in. Now, then you say they beat they the hell out of the Cowboys, right? 42 to 10. No, listen. So, when you watched them beat the hell out of the Cowboys, at that point, did you say, oh, they better than the Eagles? Yeah. I said, oh, okay, 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 okay. What, what okay. you talking? I said, I'm asking. Podcast. I ain't know that. Okay, okay. I said on this podcast, I said, have I not cut? Yeah. I said, I said nobody's beating the 49ers if they help. I said this shit plenty of time. When we go back to uh, episode 108, I think I said this shit plenty of time. Nobody's beating the 49ers. Okay. Did I not skip? Mm-hmm. Well, if you said it, then okay. Uh, we gonna beat I, I that guy, man. Believe in the G. Well, man. Dolphins gonna win the Super Bowl, but my. If no, them, my if they, I, I said it last. Year. I said they if they are healthy, if they are healthy, they got their quarterback. Nobody's beating them. But my sleeper pick. It's gonna be the Detroit Lions. They can be anybody on a on a good day. Hmm. I like that pick though. That's the Lions. Line. Yeah, the Lions can be anybody I'm on a good day. Fuck them Lions, man. We nah, know. them niggas good. Nah, they, I, I don't watch them at best. Oh, uh, I'm in Brown, St. Brown, whatever. The, man, them niggas be who I tell play. Cause his brother play for the Eagles. Yeah. It two of them in the league. Hmm. But the one that play on the Lions though. Let me tell you why they're gonna lose though. They're because they got that line on their helmet. Too much bad luck with the Lions, man. I and, never thought I'd say the Lions don't want more than who, five who, games in a season. That's true. That's just who who throwing that pill in the golf bag? Golf, golf, golf bag. Like that, that, like he that ain't talking about shit. shit. Golf, look, look at surgical now. You watch them games. Baker Mayfield is too. You going to put your money on them? Baker who? Mayfield. Man. The Bucks. Man, I don't know. But he been, he been looking good though. Falcons ranked number, real, Falcons ranked number one. If the Atlanta Falcons are playing they got NFC South, I would know nothing about that. Y'all know, but y'all know I just told a dude today, man. I don't want to hear records don't count, but Falcon number one is six and six. That whole division is terrible. This is what I just I, said. The, the record. See, this is my thing, right? So the record. Falcons, the record Falcons. counts to a team who needs home field advantage. If you're the better team, you're going to win in football. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you just need one game. Now, turnovers is the ultimate equalizer. Plain and simple. If, if the Eagles turn, if the Forty Nine turn the ball over two, three times in the game, then they gonna lose. But if they don't turn that ball over and if they are fully healthy, I'm talking about Kittle, Debo, uh, 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 Brandon Ayuk, Brock Purdy, motherfucking hey, Jennings, nigga, got nigga down, uh, 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 Warner, uh, Chase, Bosa, all them playing. Nobody is beating them, bro. But they can lose. Even mark my words. They can lose on any given. But, but they what I'm saying though. It's like six and six. 
You win and you do number one in the division. The, the, the New York Giants won the Super Bowl being nine and seven cup. No, I'm that's not. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, but they can't. I'm saying that division right now is terrible. Right? Who now. the Falcons? Yes, that's oh, what I'm saying. I'm not worried about nobody now. Though. No, I, I know what I'm saying. That. Like the Panthers, that. one and ten. Yeah, that's, that's Saints horrible. like four and seven. Should none of them teams go to the playoff? Even the Falcons. Like what, what what Tampa Bay is like like, four, four, like four, five and seven I think you know what I'm saying like that's what I'm saying like that's that's wild like in week twelve going into week thirteen that six and six right now shit nobody said nothing to the Patriots all the year they went to the damn uh, playoffs and they had a terrible division I think a game no, yeah no Patriots didn't had a terrible division. I said that then right, I used to, yeah. I, I used to say that the then Jets yeah. the division and the Jets the yeah. Dolphins the Dolphins yeah. and um, Buffalo yeah, yeah. Buffalo trash all the year Jets trash too but um. Man, don't nobody want to see them. I still, I still, right. I still give it a 50 50 chance between the Eagles and the 49. It's just, I think it comes down who got a better game plan. Yeah, that's that's your pick, and that's fine. But I'm just talking about what I seen just last that. night, bro. You don't get, you don't lose NFL games 42 to 19, bro. If I yeah, told that, you, that, if I told you to wild. name five games in your life, you seen somebody get beat 42 to 19. Shit, you can't name. beat a motherfucker like four out of the three this year. Yeah, and the Niners beat them 42 to 10. Who, who they beat? The Dolphins beat somebody real. Oh, good this year. was it the Rams? Yeah, I think it was the Rams. And then guess what? The Niners turned around and beat them 42. Yeah. To 10. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That don't happen in the NFL, brother. That that just don't happen. Like if it was a close game, I'll give you an example. That year, the the, the um, New York Giants beat the Patriots, right? The mm-hmm. game before, when you when you were talking about they went to, they went to Randy Moss twice and they only mm-hmm. beat them by three points, thirty seven thirty four. You came back and said if they see them in the Super Bowl, they might beat them, boy. And what happened? Seventeen fourteen. That shit was you cool. and your OCU and your and got them JPP and but they and, but, but I, we I knew, knew that we knew we had the better that better team. That line. The I couldn't tell, but they played twice. Justin Tuck got but they beat them the first time. Defense, though. They played twice, twice right. and both games, games were close. This game was not close last night. But just oh, like this yeah, game yeah, wasn't yeah. close yesterday. But you beat Washington. Just like that game wasn't close yesterday. That's the worst. Forty-five fifteen. That's the worst team in the league. What what record they right there? That ain't worth Carolina. Carolina, Carolina the worst team in the league. Yeah. Who the quarterback? You don't, brag, don't look you at it. Brag on that who, game. Who throwing the ball for Washington right now? <laughs> don't look at it. Hit the game though. Guess what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> they do. Where you at the top? We be, How the fuck you leaving? Let them score fifteen. Cause we got tired of playing. Hey man, so y'all got it. Get what man? Y'all in the AFC? It's a good chance y'all might make it. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, they, not, I'm they, not saying it. Like, oh, they, they, they Hold on. I'm not saying it's like, Ravens. oh, we just served. Right? We got the best quarterback. Yeah. We got the best. But I do think we got the best weapons. Y'all going to lose to the like, if we had, like, Y'all got the track team. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. If you give us, and I'm not even trying to go get like the super. Give us Trevor Lawrence for our quarterback. We wouldn't be beat. Jabba Khan, I feel like he could get that ball to every. Like, how you see how my, my boy I always get on Waddle. Waddle don't score that many touchdowns, but he scored, but he don't score that many touchdowns. Like he moved, Tyree, he, he moved the ball down the field. He's though. just as fast as Tyree. If Tua could really get that bitch to him, and I feel like Tua really throwing shade because they, they didn't say he was their favorite quarterback to play with. They, I mm. think they said Jalen Hurt was, and he, felt, he probably felt so mm. well about that shit. But ain't no way in hell I got it. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waller and Waller ain't getting it just who, who, who the running back back there fast too? Mostert. Mostert. Yeah. Mostert. No, both of them. Uh, and um, what the other one? Um, and they started at A. But we got two running backs. I mean, we ain't got oh, both. Oh, man. Yet. I can't think right now. Is it at Acres? I think it's something like that. I, yeah. I owe you. I owe, owe some man, shit like it, that. It's something crazy. It's like, yeah. it's not like a fruit or some shit. Some yeah. Retarded but now, nah, I mean, I get what you said. But now, nah, I'd say what's, 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 what's on y'all's side is the AFC look crazy, crazy. right? Now, yeah, well, we could, I don't even know who the could, best team is. We could have a little bit better defense, but Jalen Ramsey has shored up a lot of shit. I now, that's helping out on the back end. Yeah, that was a heat cut. Yeah. He, he, I can tell y'all up. two quarterback who gonna be at goddamn Food Depot collecting buggies in the parking Matt lot. Jones. Matt Jones <laughs> and Russell goddamn Wilson. He just threw another now, three. Now, he, oh, but man. before last night, he was playing pretty damn. Yeah, good, but maybe no. three hurt, man. He threw another three picks. Three interceptions. Mm-hmm. One in the same game, man. Them three hurt, man. You know what? I think it's I didn't time, watch that game. It's time for people to say, hey, man, Pete Carroll might just be the, the quarterback whisperer. Yes. Yeah. Every, all the routes were going crossing route. Yeah. He he said he played, he, he said he designed the offense to cover up Wilson's 
The flaws. Like, all yeah. he can do, like. He can't throw that motherfucker down that field like he that can't all the time. He can stand in the pocket and throw that bitch out. Hell no. He's no. got a. Pete Carroll knew what he was doing. And, she, and you think Sean Payne finna re sign Russell and give him another 40. No, the Russell Wilson only good years was when Marshawn Lynch was in that backfield. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He and the defense was taking the pressure off of him. He yeah. was a game manager. Yeah. I'm going to tell you another game manager. If it makes a motherfucker mad, Tom Brady was a game manager. Okay. But he was a, the best at it. But he was a game manager. Uh-huh. He, he won out his Super Bowls off field goal until he played the Falcons, bro. Who match all the quick? Almost every Super Bowl won out some field goals, though. But listen, yeah. all I know is. The ones that were some good ones, like playing All I know is when he finally got an elite receiver, like Randy Moss. That nigga, they broke some records. But they couldn't win. Well, they didn't win, but they they was undefeated all the way to the Super Bowl. But they don't matter. Did they win? They can't they win. win. But and, 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 and was talking shit before the Super Bowl. Talking about some, they're gonna hold us thirty to th- th- fourteen points high. Okay, yeah, yeah. your ass got held to fourteen. No, points. I was just referring to when he said. No, that's what Tom Brady said. I ain't talking about you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Tom Brady said. <laughs> let, me, let me ask y'all a question. What's the what's what, what what's the best quarterback Nick Saban put in the NFL? Ooh, Jalen fucking hurts. He ain't had no good quarterbacks, but Jalen Hurts. Got two and Hurts the only one. Two and Hurts the only two and a half. Alabama was a running team before then. Trent Richardson, yeah. Mark, Mark Ingram. I mean, them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But why, would, why the fuck would Belichick go get Matt Jones? But, because uh, he told him to. Yeah. And Nick he, said, they, man, drop yeah. some, please. Yeah. They, they, you know, that's that's kinship, shit like that. Oh, you think all these niggas get drafted all the time? Nope. Matt Jones is. Man. Politics everywhere now. Politics everywhere now. So, yeah. so Nick Saban got Matt Jones drafted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can always put words in for motherfuckers. Yeah, he can always play the drafter. I mean, I know that, but you know they gonna call him. Hey, well, I, what do we, well, yeah. oh, okay, I see what you're but I'm saying like, man, it combine one even now all that. But yeah. at the time, who's you gonna take? You had to take him. You had to take somebody. You had to take Mac Jones because if I was at that pick, I think the Patriots picked him like what tenth or some shit, whatever the fuck it was. You had to take him. Did Mac Jones come in the same? Well, yeah, when Mac Jones come in. The same year, Waddle and all them came in. Somebody else was out there, bro. Nah, you probably had to take them. I don't know what year that was, but, you know, I don't know. At least probably three years ago. That was a good conversation about football, though. That was a great one. But, yeah. Hold on, before we hey, keep going on sport, man, shout out to my Bayou baby. You know what I'm saying? Return of Angel Reese. Oh, man. Angel Reese return. Hey, man, 19 and 9. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. about. I can't you know what I'm saying? And Helen the coach shared a emotional hug. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes you got to slap bitches and let them know we get back in their place. <laughs> stupid, bro. Hey, man, the, the coach did what she had to do, man. Sit your ass down, man. Yeah, she she had to. Right? She, she had to, man. Know. She been on yeah. tour all summer. Yeah, it was a little different. You know, yeah, you know what's funny? This the, the first time we've talked about women's hoop and it still ain't WNBA. That's wild. Ain't you know what I said again? Yeah. Hell. So what now? Y'all talking about women's hoops and y'all are not talking about WNBA. You guys are insensitive. No, <laughs> hold on, hold on, real quick. Uh, quarterbacks that came out that year: Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. Top first three picks she, taken. He, Only two he, of them were good. He yeah. should have took Trevor Lawrence or Zach. Well, Trevor Lawrence, first pick. He couldn't take Trevor Lawrence. Zach Wilson was the second pick. Zach, Zach Wilson, no. Nah, Justin Fields shit. went to Chicago that same year, so you had to take Matt Jones. He was the next one. Yeah, that's about right though. It wasn't like Bill Belichick went crazy. But um, cause everybody gone, he will jump up and get somebody. Matt Jones ain't it. Anybody getting away that first pick? But you got Trevor Lawrence sitting right down there from Clemson. You ain't, you ain't getting that one. You see, they gave away Urban Meyer before they gave away him, boy. Damn, so dead. They gave away Urban Meyer. <laughs> nice to like Urban Meyer in Florida. Urban Meyer, <laughs> okay. hey, Urban Meyer, him and Tebow, man. Party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit that crazy. Yeah, but now, effect, yeah. um, Angel Reese, great performance. I think she needed that time to herself. Uh, coach, you know, was happy for her to come back. I thought that was dope. Um, where it is, we talked about it last week. She just was, you know, I guess feeling herself. I guess you got to have the big head, man. Um, but she balled. She Nineteen balled, and nine. Man. They might not lose a game the rest of this year. Let me tell you, who now, good, though, bro. South Carolina, boy. Now, South Carolina. Yeah. I, I talk, we talked about. It. I think they beat somebody one on one to fucking nineteen or whatever that shit was. Mm-hmm. Was it South Carolina? I think it was South Carolina. Yeah, I just watched them beat the fuck out somebody else the other day when I, when I called you and I was at the mix. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. South Carolina looked good, man. Yeah. Do y'all think uh, South Carolina? Cause they do got a good ass team. Do you think that girls basketball team mm-hmm. can beat 
Hey. They're going to tell Chicago Sky up right now. <laughs> no, no. I'm talking about a men's high school basketball team. No. 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 Hey, a no. top ranked men's no. basketball No. 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 The nigga playing with no booty shorts on. Out what there. I, no, yeah, I heard that too. Like a number yeah. one ranked. But the uh, money put money up though. Like a cha- yeah, a championship NBA W. He said he said you could take a, a WNBA championship team and they could not be a number one national ranked high school, high school boys basketball, basketball team. team. And I believe that. Man, them niggas, they, they, them they, niggas, they beat, them beat, niggas, beat the fuck out there. Them niggas sixteen and windmilling and shit. If they got anybody like that, got like that, that them them Andrew Wiggins mixed tape or that got them John Wall mixed tape, them hoes in trouble. They put them in a blender. We ain't gotta go that far, man. Mike it. Well, tough. He would have put. He would have dropped about body on there. Yeah, Mike just beat a body too. That nigga said, "Y'all got." He, he, so he did, what was the body that he beat? Nah, I can't play. I don't oh, know. Nah, he had well, a gun charge. Gun charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he yeah, beat it. Too. Yeah, he beat yeah, it. Yeah, he beat it. He, he, he playing. Yeah. He's gonna go hoop. Yeah. Fucked up, nigga. Oh, that buff in the head. Yeah, he beat it though. Ooh, he gonna be the net John Morant. But no, John Morant wants to be like him. Yeah, he don't want. He don't want to come for that shit. Yeah, he. Yeah, his situation happened first, right? But nigga, I don't. To be honest with you, I don't. You could take the five best WNBA players right now. Take them to a gym with some real hoopers and get five men, they'll still lose. I can't say that, no. Shit. I'm talking about niggas. I'm talking about niggas who can hoop for real. I ain't talking oh, about niggas. Oh, I've been like saying that. No, I've been saying that. No, 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 you go out there to do a pick Like an open game. run. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. an open run with some like some niggas who just played in college, now, but they I would say that. Yeah, it's home. just like them going to more. Because she was out there with Uncle Drew. Yeah, but my good work. You go get some real hoopers, bro, right now, but you go get the and one mixtape. They'll fuck them hoes up. Well, I'm trying to tell you. They'll fuck them hot sauce with fat them hoes out there. But why we don't never see. Them do that. I think that's along with promotion to me. Like when I was getting like 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 when the NBA go on their little you know off season shit, and then you see goddamn LeBron at the crossover. Oh, AM. oh yeah, yeah, I be yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah. oh yeah, that thing, that thing, they get like back they rolling. They be yeah. doing they church league. Like like yeah, and like they they do shit to get their body back in. Let me see how I put myself in a real game. I ain't situation. gonna lie. If they were to really like televise an open run, what? That's you really see right. how good the NBA niggas is without that, without yeah. trying to run a system out like yeah you know, you know what I'm saying but man I'm seeing niggas shooting off the wrong foot that shit wet like, yeah I'm like yeah. god damn you yeah. them, all, them open runs right. be tough boy. open run yeah. be fu- I say it's another run, one yeah. with it Drew Lee oh yeah Drew Lee yeah yeah Drew Lee it's a it's a whole yeah. bunch of them shit but shout out Andrew Reese coming back you know we 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 got to got them go to win another one. Hey man, that good Kayla Clark ain't missed a beat either, man. Yeah. I know y'all don't want to talk about the white girl, man. I, I know, know she's she good. I know she's what you're doing. Number Kobe one Bryant. pick. Kobe Number one. She that's ain't Kobe. bullshitting, boy. Ain't nothing Angel Reese can do. Block it ain't that nobody can do. do. Yeah. yeah. She's going one. Yeah. South Carolina better better drop the number four so I ain't got to see them folk, man. Right. Because goddamn, hey man, shit, man. Kayla Clark ain't bullshitting with them folks out there, man. I don't know, man. Shit, what we got, man? What we doing over there, man? Like over there in slow motion, man. Uh, well, to be honest, I didn't really get a list. I was just well, going. Out. I, I thought we were just going. Let's well, talk about let's talk about the Charleston White man, Cam Newton man interview. What y'all think about that? That was one of the realest interviews I seen. Shout out to Cam, man. Mm. Char- Char- he, had, Char- he had Charleston on the saying some when that when that nigga broke down, like you know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all don't want the nigga in the bow tie and 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 doing stuff the right way, cause y'all y'all overlook that person who doing stuff the right way. But the person that bring the controversy, that's being a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Now y'all in tune. Now there was a few things I did that I did disagree with, but you know what I'm saying? Like for the most part, that nigga was on some shit in that in that whole interview for real. For real, like, he was on I some like, shit. I like that message when he was like. When Cam Newton was like, Cam Newton, basically, Cam Newton basically said what everybody in the world fucking thinks. Like, shit you be saying do have truth in it, mm-hmm. and it could be your delivery. But I, 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 I loved his response to that man. He said, man, I'm talking about really killing niggas, and you want to talk about my delivery? Like, I, I got what he's saying, man. Oh, yeah, that's Charles, what Charles and White, that shit just come. Charles White remind me of one of them funny people. One of them people that's funny, but they're not truly trying to be funny. Is that the shit sounds funny? Mm-hmm. Like I don't think he was actually trying to be funny. He just say shit, and it happens to be funny. Mm-hmm. I I say I was programmed at first to not like that nigga, but 
<laughs> you that, program. Yeah, cause I, but that's showing how how stupid I was. Cause Ooh, yeah, everything right. he say is the fucking truth. If you go against really, if you go against anything he's saying, that just shows a lot about your character. Cause you're not actually listening to what the fuck he's saying. Then. You're yeah. just going off of the antics. You ain't going off of what he's really trying to tell your dumb ass. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's why that's why the, the shit sound like that. Cause he's like a coach. Mm-hmm. When you keep fucking up, he at first he goes like, "All right, I need you to do it this way." All right, come on now, I need you to do it this way. Mm-hmm. Then you oh. keep, God damn, boy, you stupid! What the fuck? You don't fuck it. Yeah. Do it. I said, do it like this. How many ways yeah. I gotta take? That's all it is. But I'm gonna tell y'all one of the funniest parts in the whole interview when a nigga him and Cam were talking. Charles White said, "Shit, nigga, I ain't fight no niggas." Nigga said, "Nigga said I don't, I don't fight." He said, "He said I ain't no prize fighter." And nigga said, "I'm a surprise fighter. Like surprise <laughs> your ass with this motherfucking with this gun and goddamn blast on you. That shit yeah, was funny as hell, boy. Yeah, I, you know what? Charles, one more thing. Charles mm-hmm. White is what you get when Martin Luther King. If Martin Luther King was still alive and got wow. fed up, it would be Charleston White. What the fuck? <laughs> He had his dream and y'all fucked it up. And this is what happens after he, after he see y'all fucked his dream. That's the point he was making the whole he, interview, he, though. See, he dissed Martin Luther King in the interview, though, right? That don't what? mean shit. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, I know why he What is it? What is it? I really know what Martin Luther King about, so I can, yeah. he, I can he understand. Said, he, he, said, he, said, Nick, he, said, he said, the white man wanted y'all to hate Malcolm. He said, but the white man had nothing on Malcolm. Malcolm would leave his, you know, his, uh, his he would leave, not his wife, he would, uh, Leave from talking or whatever, doing his seminars, and, and really call his wife and go home to his wife and talk to his wife. He said, but with Martin, he would talk to y'all niggas and go party and get his dick sucked and all this other shit. The FBI had this on fire. Yeah, they got video. They got they, video, all this shit. He said, but y'all niggas thought y'all niggas thought Ma- Martin was the good one. He said once Malcolm turned his life over to, to Muslim, to the great Elijah Muhammad, they ain't had nothing on him. Cam was mad about that shit, boy. Well, I'm not gonna say but, mad, but he tried to yeah, push me. No, cause my you, good friend Martin. No, if yeah. you go, if you really like, see, I ain't talking about watch them moves that niggas make make you think. Cause they ain't never made a good move about Malcolm X. Spike, we had to do that. Mm, but, true. Boy, you but just white, snap. Too, but yeah. white people you just make snap. all the moves about uh, Martin Luther King. Why we ain't got a Malcolm X day? We got Martin Luther King day though. Yeah, yeah. And they keep talking about that. I, I, I had a dream speech. What about the speech he made after the I had a dream speech? Well, listen, I can tell you why they got when it. When he said he can't believe what he done sub- subjugated his, his people to, because all of it is false. That's why he got mad. There's a lot of reasons why you could say, like, I ain't going to Martin but Luther the, King, but he, he was put to be a leader for But us. the number one reason why they put more focus on, on Martin than Malcolm, because, you know, Malcolm, he was about to separate that almighty dollar. And you know the white man ain't going for that. What, what, what you mean? Meaning like, he was like, hey, all right, so if y'all don't want to be equal to us, that's fine. We can have our own communities. We can have our yeah. own banks. Malcolm, we Malcolm. can have our own this and that. Well, Malcolm, on, on, not Malcolm, but Martin on his side, he was more on peace. Let's like, all right, let's come together. Let's unify. See what I'm saying? But you got to think about it. If we had our own banks or we only spent our money with each other, Bro, the white man, the white America is not gonna allow that for us to spend our dollar only amongst each other, bro. But then we we the biggest before? consumers yeah, they bombed on this yeah. fucking planet. They, both were. they bombed that. Yeah, we had they, that. Uh, when they had uh, the Black Wall Street. In, uh, there in uh, Oklahoma. Where yeah. Was they bombed but yeah, bro, we the biggest consumer. Like, they, we, they, they, the America never let us ex- only exchange money amongst ourselves. No, they gave us the opportunity to exchange money with them, and we took it. I don't think we need yeah. one of them. But what I'm saying is, the reason they were so against Malcolm because he was like, "All right, if y'all don't like us, fuck it. Let us have our own community, our own banks. We can do shit amongst ourselves. They weren't gonna let that I shit don't happen." Think it was that. I mean, I agree with you on that. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing wrong with that, but I, I think it's more so because Malcolm was willing to fight. Martin wasn't. Yeah. Then, then Malcolm man start the wick and shit like that. Mm-mm. The Black Panther part then. Thought wick. Like like passed out food of kids and stuff like that. Like, oh fuck. no, I don't know. But I know they did do that though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. You know, so I, I can't speak educated on that. Um but I, I just feel like Charles White was saying some real shit. Um and I think, you know, I mean look, man, like I said, I ain't the most religious person, but the Bible say once good turn into bad and bad turn into good, we in our last days. And man, we've been in our last day forever. That's true too, <laughs> yeah, but true. but but my thing is I don't yeah. believe in hell and heaven like that in far form of the book. I think we in hell now. Don't the book say uh, 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 what is it? Hell is on earth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying I think yeah, we in hell true, yeah. now. So that's what I'm saying. It's just like the things that we sit up and talk about that we feel like 
everything Charles the White saying, the regular motherfucker feel like, oh hell no, nah, man, that's that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever. Even though you know he's saying the right shit. Yeah. What the fuck is no, no, wrong? That's, you only know he's saying the right shit if you have common sense. Yeah. To actually listen to what he's saying. Yeah. Listen, like at take heed, like. Let me let me ask y'all this. Do y'all actually believe the shit in the Bible actually happened? Oh, hold on, man. That nigga Charles um, White said, folks don't support black content, bro. Hold on, nigga. Don't you ever in your life, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Try black yeah, college, bro. Yeah, <laughs> All been a state, man. You know what I'm saying? We, I fuck with HBCU, Savannah State, <laughs> Fort Valley, motherfucker. Hey, yeah. <laughs> all of them, bro. All of them, bro. I got family go to all that shit. HBCU. Child at one of them and everything. Yeah. Nah, I, you know what you were saying, Kurt? Yeah. But do you, but okay, like the Bible say Jesus walked on water. Look, bro, I don't believe the nursery rhyme. Michael Jackson walked on the moon. What the fuck? This what I this this what I said about the Bible. Do I believe all the stories in it? No, but what I do believe is that the stories that were created in the Bible, um, it has substance to certain situations that we go through now. Yeah, that 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 teaches you wrong from right. I do believe that. I feel, so it's I, I think it's a message in the stories, but to say that all the stories that it actually happened. I mean, that's just based upon your faith. But like I say, I do think it pertains to stuff that we go through, you know what I'm saying, showing us the difference between wrong and right. I think I think everything in the Bible is a fable. Like, I think instead of me telling you what faith is, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the story of what faith is. And then you get your own understanding. That's why it says read the Bible for your own understanding. I can You can read the same thing I read and say what you think that means, and I say what I mean. But I can't say you're wrong. Right? We just interpret it different ways. We interpret it different ways. Yeah. Like inst instead of telling you have faith, let me tell you a, a story about a guy who had faith. I agree with all that. You know what I'm saying? I agree with it, but everything both of y'all are saying. I just think I just don't believe the nursery rhymes. Jesus turned water into wine and. The Moses part of the Red Sea and you rain for 40 days, 40 nights, and Noah built the ark. Shut the fuck up. I don't care who watching. Straight Jesus up. turned part of the crack. All that dumb <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying, man. I'm trying, that shit really happened, though. Yeah, man. Jesus you know, turned part real. of the crack. He told you in the rap, bro. So we got to believe the Bible. I got to believe Jesus. Jesus turned part of the crack, bro. You know what? This is Mass Speaker Podcast. I feel you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying But that's what I'm man, saying bro. I don't man. believe that As far as like The Charles the White shit Man like The things that we love We try to we try to go against yeah. Man look at man Ain't no nigga in here going. If I if we tell people Talking about girls Kissing on girls And you know Your girl like to fuck a girl All y'all be against Everything I'm saying If I sit up here And put, give you pushback on But let me put it In the form of your daughter mm. Oh sorry Don't say that now Oh yeah, You tripping up bro Hell no not my daughter Yeah, Nigga you were just liking that shit You were just loved it you see what I'm saying? You just loved it. Lesbian, when he say promote lesbianism to my yeah. daughters, you see what I'm saying? He was, he ain't said nothing wrong. I don't understand what the hell everybody up in the uproar for. I like all this fucked up shit out here. I, I said it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if that man right, that man right as a motherfucker. Now, the only thing I say, I don't agree with one thing. You ain't got to disrespect niggas who dead. Right. Regardless of what they did on this earth. Yeah, yeah, no, see, now, nah. see, I, I ain't, well, I'll tell you, that Chicago shit needs to stay in Chicago. Now, when, but I understand when he says fuck sir, like now he say fuck King Von, I don't know. He, he probably do mean that. But like when he say like fuck Nipsey Hustle. Motherfucker, he doesn't mean fuck Nipsey Hustle. Like he don't mean fuck Ermius Ashgabble. He don't mean, mean fuck. He mean the idea. He mean fuck the idea of like, cause y'all are worshiping uh shit with, with his rap, for, rap name. You're not mm -hmm. rushing, you're not got down yeah. really missing the man, Ermius. So yeah. That's what I said. Like when he that type of shit was for shock value right there. Yeah, but he kind of said that before though. That was like shock value shit that he was saying. I, I just I don't understand what people. Now, he did call Lil Tim a demon slayer. Now, ain't gonna, he the FBI listen. got these people. He said, "What he said? The FBI got um um King Von listed as a serial killer." Yeah, for like by that. definition. But look, no, killer. but funny when they were showing all the video, he was like he just sit there eating cereal. Who? Yeah, about King Von. He tried to be funny. He just eat cereal every time he talk about a body. Oh my god, I like that. This thing is ill. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, crazy. I mean, I mean, I I don't I don't see nothing wrong with what he was saying. I thought the interview it was three hours long. I thought that's the inter longest interview that Cam had on his podcast. I like the Cam the questions he was asking. Man, he did ten. He did one word answer for like different celebrities. Cam asked him, 
I need one word for for these celebrities. Just the first word pop into your head. He said, he said, uh, Will Smith, gay. I was like, <laughs> oh, no, he said, sexy red, ho, low down, dirty, stinking ho. I was like, he said, Jada Pickett Smith, Smith. He said, uh, what did he say? He said two words. He was like, stupid, some shit. He said, oh my bad, that's two words, bitch. <laughs> bitch, bitch, bitch. That shit gonna fun as a motherfucker. Man. This nigga hell goddamn hell, bro. But hey, man, Charles White come to bad speaker, man. You can talk all that shit over him. We ain't gonna cut that shit out. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. Well, I, I won't hear what you think about a lot of people. My dad, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's keep it going, man. G, you back? Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. You, oh, you, no, oh, no. I'm okay. saying, yeah, yeah. We, I'm, I'm, I'm flowing, yeah. Uh, on this, man, Fat Joe said he lied about 95% of the time in all his raps. Jo- hey, man, Fat Joe hurt my heart, man. <sighs> well, now I'll say this. I, I always said I felt like rappers always uh, talking about other niggas' stories. Man, I, mean, I agree with lie, that, man. That nigga don't want to go to jail. jail. It's something he done said in one of these routes. He don't want to go to jail. Nigga. Yeah, these niggas but, have not read cups. But, look, yeah. but listen, no, that ain't what hurt. Him saying he lying there hurt my heart. It hurt my heart when he told me how he got his name, Joey Crack. <laughs> oh, yeah, I say that shit. I'm a, I, I, I just... Say? That nigga said the girl used to make fun of him when he like get out of cars and shit because he's crack. Ass crack, so... Man, my whole life, I knew, all I knew, my boy, no. goddamn, no. Joe had the <laughs> nails, <laughs> man. <laughs> Joe had the nails, man. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking like shit. Like ain't trying to protect himself. No, 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 you know what? Man, Joe's smart, though. Okay, he know why his name got down crack, nigga. Quick Joey crack. crack, man. Man, man we, so he got out of them cars and crack was on. Yeah. And his ass on. Yeah, he had them eight balls on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Before and a baby, goddamn. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think it's fifty fifty. I think some rappers lie. I think some telling the truth. It's up to you to determine who you feel like telling the truth. If if you in most of the time, if you in the know, you know who telling the truth or who who yeah. lying. You know what I'm saying? But what is a lie? You sold dope and you did. Okay, that's a you lie. I mean, like, well, could could be rapping about something you don't have. Is, is that a lie? Mm-hmm. Like. I spent 10K here. If you say I hit the freeway in my Rory doing doing 100. And you do and not. You, drive, you know you drive a Honda, stop it, bro. You lying. We call that dreaming. Mm-hmm. You dreaming, nigga. That ain't true. You, no, can, I ain't mad at a nigga to do that. Can he rent it? Yeah, I, see, that's and I, and, the truth. And, I'm glad you, and listen, I'm glad you said it because it's a lot of rappers that do rap about shit that they don't have, but I guess they'll say they manifesting and speaking it into an, an existence. You know? That's what they'll say. Yeah, it's still lying though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you lying all the way right. around. If I told y'all I'm gonna fuck Beyonce, oh, I done fuck Beyonce. I just ain't did it yet. I'm lying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lying. Oh, bro. you fucked the bitch that looked like, like Beyonce. Beyonce. I'm lying. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I gotta agree with Skeet. He just don't want to go to jail. That's all there. He he didn't get hit with Rico, and he only said it in reference to the Young Thug trial shit. As far as the question, how the question was asked. So, obviously, he's doing that to help Thug also mm-hmm. and for him not to go to jail. Okay, you got to throw out if he says, oh, boy, all my shit, all 95% of my shit for real. Boy, you go go back and listen to the goddamn Doug Cartagena and all that shit. Man, you going to be like, well, they locked this, this nigga up. This nigga was in Columbia, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, we're going to go ahead and speed through these, man, because we're running a little long. <sighs> Last one from what I'm saying is TikTok saving a lot of rappers' careers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Some I don't I I, I won't even say just TikTok. It's these challenges. That ceiling challenge, it got me lit. Although you can hear a nigga in the bathroom stall. Once you hear that, push that in that in that in that. Boy that, going that, crazy. You know exactly what he watching. But what? And he is not watching the video to the what? song. What? That's my song. That that challenge turned J.I.D. up. Like, that song. When did that song come out? That shit been like a year. I had that shit downloaded a minute ago. I got it downloaded right now. No, Man, no. I, just, I thought that motherfucker came out yesterday. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. But the, the way. The and I'm way not even that, lying. That shit way down here. Huh? Way down. I ain't lying. I, that shit. Where that? They passed it, I think. But that shit saved his. That, that surround sound. Yeah, 2022, January. Damn, last year. Yeah, last year. And that shit just now getting hot. Mm-hmm. And 21 Savage on it. Yeah, 
TikTok done made a lane for a lot of rappers. You know, the song where they got the video they like, shaking ass. No, ain't nobody shaking. No, ass. no, he's talking about the real video. I ain't never seen that. Yeah, yeah. They got a video for him in the 21 Savage. I don't so even want to see they it. They're just now, folks. Yeah, it's a challenge it. now where a girl put, for y'all that don't know, Skeet ain't on the net. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to feel like, damn, that nigga don't know what the fuck nah, going on. I don't know nothing about he it. Don't, he don't be on the net like yeah. that. So what it is, is a challenge going on where a girl put a, 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 a camera, her camera phone up to the goddamn ceiling, and they start, and the song playing, and then they start shaking their ass to the song and shit from the up, down view, and that shit look up. Amazing. Boy, yeah. shout out to uh, Janice the Freak. That's my favorite. Oh, <laughs> I watched that motherfucker 600 times, bro. Like, I said, oh, man. You know she was in the tub you know throwing you know, that one. She the beat drop, they go crazy. Ski. But you know what? This conversation makes me revert to the beginning of the podcast. It's church necessary. What you mean? Y'all motherfuckers just, I can't believe y'all. Y'all got hoes sticking their phone to the ceiling. It's work up, bro. Taping it. Back up. I thought the channel with a girl pouring a water on their asses. Now, no, so it's no, a whole no, no, new no, no, no. Yes. Yeah. It's a whole new. But get what, though? When them girls were pouring water on their asses, that was 2A song. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that song. But that, that tick, that TikTok needs to just come out with a fucking record label. Facts. TikTok Everybody. records. TikTok, TikTok records. No time man. is ticking. No time is ticking, but that, that's a slogan. Y'all you me? Oh my God, bro! But I, I will say, but I will say that TikTok shit does take away like the, um, what you would call it the the authentic. I can't even say the fucking authenticity? word. Authenticity. Uh, yeah, authenticity of the artist, because it's like you're just a gimmick. I mean, that's all ringtone rappers was. They, yeah, I mean, ringtones I, I, don't went to TikTok. I, only reason Damn, I can't I say no that, that you know what? Yeah. but only reason I can't say that it takes away from it is because you don't know. No, nah, but a ringtone was a song somebody just like hearing. But it was catchy. But like a, you, a, a TikTok can be a fucking dance. It could just be some shit everybody just But doing. usually, whatever that ringtone song was, people danced to. But you still had to just like the song, though. What was the number one ringtone song? <laughs> Soldier Boy. Thank yeah, you. Oh, he had a few of them. But, but, but that's what I'm saying, though. But like J.I.D. <laughs> and 21 Savage ain't take no phone to no ceiling. They didn't... They, 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 Somebody started Somebody this shit heard the song and, and just fucking, did it. Yeah, they did it. And started the challenge. So that's what I'm I saying. Like, the song was a year old. JID did nothing wrong. Like he, he that shit been out. Like, so and, you, and, and, you, you and, never and, know. And you can't necessarily say that because JID is a rapping ass rapper. He ain't no yeah like no no, no nigga these rapping like songs he makes anyway. Yeah, like he that, he, he was rapping like that. Ain't no song about Buddha shaking or nothing like that. He actually rapping about some in that song. Listen yeah. to the song. These women done took it and said that they just like that the beat. beat drop. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I can't say that because that song is a rapping ass rapping song. Like he, yeah, he really rapping on that moment. Yeah. And Twenty One came in and went crazy. It right? went crazy, yeah. but but that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, you can drop a song two years ago and somebody start skipping to it and record yeah. themselves. Then that's a new challenge. Look how long oh, yeah. it took Trap Queen to get on. That nigga pushed that song for you. He say about two years, three two years, years. Yeah. two years. And that motherfucker. But once it went on, it was it was on. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to JID, man. I ain't, ain't no, I ain't gonna dish it like no cap, man. The song was good, man. I can't even. Alleg no cap didn't say he did Allegedly. It. I don't know if that was <laughs> shots at you, but allegedly. Did he say it wasn't at him? Now, when he, he just say, oh. no cap said, TikTok saving these niggas, man. Oh, okay. See, see. see, I don't know, you know. See, I'm, I'm gonna take that ass. Maybe you need to get your ass on TikTok then and let them save you too. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? You might be Damn. right, Steve. That sounds like you just mad you ain't used that app. Shit, that boy got a funeral song that gonna go forever, boy. Yeah, I mean, I, I like no cat because nobody know how we feel. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, but that song right there, like that boy to me and like that marriage that, song. That boy to me, man. Hey, boy, that motherfucker right there. Hey, anytime somebody pass, boy. You right. They, they gonna put on that, that and that Lucci. Yeah. What? Boy, I got man, that. Man, free wife in, man. Man, they God, said that boy done went broke, man. Lucci? I mean, he wasn't major like that. He I mean, I know he wasn't major, but Thug, Thug lawyer said, man, why fan lose you broke? Damn. You know, it take it take money to, to, to fight that shit, man. I know, I know Rollo up. She, he got like 40 or 50 ahead of him as soon as he got out of jail. Let's get out of here, man. It's your boy, G-Downs. Your boy, Shaw. You know it ain't a party without a cup. It's the number one Georgia fan. We're coming back next year. He's got to say your name. Um, Uga. <laughs> Uga <laughs> 60. You rolling. Hey, man, we out of hey, here, man, bro. You got to stop. 112. Let me say Uga. Uga. <laughs>